Hey guys welcome back to our channel. So in this video we are gonna see, what if Sage of Six Path Naruto travels multiverse. This is part 1, and if you want more of this, then please leave a like share and subscribe. Also do make sure to check it out author of this fanfic, so let's get in the video. During the climax of the most brutal war in the shinobi world, the fourth great shinobi war, Yuzumaki Naruto and Ichiha Sasuke were able to slice through the current Yubi Jinchuriki, Ichiha Ibido, successfully after an exhausting long and hard battle. But the help of Konoha 11, Les Sakura who is working with Tsuna Day to heal the Shinobi Alliance and Niji who have sacrificed himself to protect Naruto from Jubi's attacks, the Susanoo armor-clad Biju Sage mode pierced through Abito's flesh in the hopes of defeating the Jubi Jinchuriki and stop the Shinju's flower from blooming, halting the infinite Tsukiyomi's activation. The slash from the Senjutsu and QB-powered Susanoo sword damages Abito's body, and the massive wound released a large torrent of chakra from the Jubi that is currently sealed within him. The torrent of chakra divided into nine streams, each of the chakra streams tip-shaped as heads of the nine biduous and or part of the biduous chakra that are currently within the Jido Mazu, which served as the body of the Jubi. Naruto and Kurama noticed the chakra streams, so they channeled the chakras from the seven biduous within him on his tails. Each tails matched the specific torrents of their chakra. The chakras collided and once connected, Naruto and Kurama starts to yank out the biduous out of Abito's body. Since Naruto Dorse and have the chakra of the Hachibi and the Ichibi, Gara and Killer B, helped out by pulling the Hachibi's and the Ichibi's chakra stream from Abido, as they have connections with the two Bijuus being their recent Jinchuriki. But with the power of the Rinnegan and the Jido Mazu still within Abido, the chakra tug of war is working on Abido's favor, as he actually reversed the situation and started pulling out Kurama and Jayuki's chakra away from Naruto and Killer B. Naruto's determination also slightly faltered after seeing Abito's memories, since the two are linked with each through their chakra. However, Ichiha Sasuke increased the power of his cursed seal-enhanced Susanoo. He used one of the Susanoo chakra arms to grab the chakra torrent and pull them in Naruto's favor, helping his former teammate in pulling out the Bijuus out of Abito. The Konoha Eleven also jumped in and joins the chakra tug of war to help their batchmates in this fierce struggle. And then, with Shikamaru's instructions, the entire Shinobi Alliance also ran to their aid, even if they don't have much idea how can they help in this titanic struggle of godly powers. Winato Namikas, the fourth Hokage resurrected as an Edo Tensei along with the other past generation Hokage's by Orochimaru, saw these, and this made him realize how great his son has become, even without him and Kishina by his side. Naruto has befriended the Yang QB and even able to use the full extent of the beast's powers to assist the Shinobi Alliance in the current war. Even the Yin Kurama that is sealed within him through Shaiki Fujin also admired how Naruto was able to change his other half. And to top it all, Naruto became the very strength and heart of the entire Shinobi Alliance fighting in the war. His son has already surpassed him in every possible way that he can possibly think of. He becomes a legend that everyone acknowledged right in front of his eyes. And right now, he can even see his son's potential to surpass all the previous Hokage. That's why he will do everything that he can to assist his son on this battle, no matter what the cost. Minato, on his current QB chakra mode, used Horatian to the nearest marked location where the chakra tag of war is happening, and used a blinding speed buff provided by QB chakra mode towards the chakra streams. And then, by tapping further into Yin Kurama's chakra, he created a durable, rope-like tangible chakra that the Shinobi Alliance can use to assist Naruto, Sasuke, Gara, Killer B and Kanoha 11 in pulling out the Bijuus out of Abito. He then grabbed the chakra streams with multiple chakra arms, while the alliance used the distributed chakra ropes for assistance in pulling out the Bijuus. But the entire alliance assisting Naruto, they were able to bring the tug of war into a stalemate. But this is still not enough, as Abito still has the power of the Shinju on his disposal. But Naruto and Kurama, who are fighting for so long during the war with everything that they have, it is then the Yin Kurama within Minato realize that this will not be enough to successfully yank out the other Bijuus. Using the chakra stream as a medium, Yin Kurama communicated with Naruto and Yang Kurama, Killer B and Jayuki, Minato and also Gara. Their consciousness is then sent within an empty space, the very same space where Naruto reasons out Abido. Note that Abido and Naruto haven't talked yet on that space on this fanfic. Mindscape Discussion. Naruto, Minato, Jayuki's Jinchuriki, and Kazika Gabrat, Yin Kurama, said to gain the attention of those that he wanted to communicate with. I believe it is time to end this prolonging child's play. The other Kurama. Naruto said while well, his own Kurama is smirked towards his darker half. QB Minato muttered to the Biju within him. Gara, on the other hand just looked towards the dark version of the QB, but displayed no fear on his face, since he already understood who the Bijuus are. The QB is doubled, I can smell trouble. Yeah. Killer B said using his usual rapping tone despite the Alliance's current predicament. 
Jaiwuki sighed exaggeratedly while watching how his host behaves. Are you sure about this, my other half? Naruto's Kurama said towards Yin Kurama. This is the only way. We are dealing with the Jubis and Churiki here after all. Even if his power is still way below the power of the Rakuto Senen, he still has the power of the Six Paths. So even if he doesn't have the full power of the Hachibi and the two of us, his power is more than enough to obliterate this alliance of yours if he isn't playing around. Yin Kurama replied. What are you intending to do then? Gara calmly asked. I believe that the time has come for the two QBS to become a single entity once again. That is our only hope against the Juubi Jinchuriki. The Yin Kurama said with resolute expression. You mean, you want to become complete again, QB? Minato said with surprise. I have divided the original QB's chakra in half, creating the two of you, the Yin and Yang QBS, with Naruto as the Jinchuriki of the Yang and myself for the Yin. But I plan to seal the Yin Chakra within the Shaiki Fujin for eternity along with me, since an infant cannot contain the full power of the original QB. I intend to make the Yang QB's chakra to regenerate its missing other half, along with my son's growth, so their chakra can meld properly and become a proper Jinchuriki. And that happened as you intend to, Yandai Mei. Yang Kurama replied. As Naruto grows from a snot-nosed squid up into a 12-year-old brat, I have regenerated the entire half of my chakra that you have sealed within the Shiku Fujin. That's why it is only during that time that Naruto can start tapping into my chakra subconsciously whenever he feels great anger and hatred. So you can say that I, myself, even as a QB created from Yang Chakra, already have at least the same powers as that of the original QB sealed within your wife Kashina, not including the power that I have gradually gained as the time passed on as well. And that goes the same for me as well. Yin Kurama said. While being sealed within the Shiku Fujin, I have also regenerated half of my chakra that you have left within that son of yours. So I can say that I am on the same level of chakra as that of the other me. I thought it was all for naught. But surprisingly, your soul is released from the Shiku Fujin and revived as an Ido Tensei, thus reviving me as well. Wow. Naruto muttered. So it just means that there are now two full-powered Kurama right now on our side. That's right, son. Minato said impassively. And that's what I worry about. Since the Yin and the Yang QB have both reached the power of the original QB on their own, the thought of them fusing together will create an all-new powerful QB that will become far more powerful than the original QB sealed within Kashina. But that information on hand, I believe that if the two QBs became a single entity again, it could easily rival or even surpass the power of the Juubi created by Abito. We might be able to turn the tides of the war with that power, but will it be enough to defeat Abito and stop the Shinju's flower from blooming? If so, then how can Naruto possibly handle such level of power? Actually, your assumption is right, Yandai Mei. Since it comes to this, there is something that I want to share with you all. Yang Kurama spoke. You all know that the Juubi is divided by the Rakuto Senen into nine creatures called Bijuus. However, the question here is, does the chakras from the Juubi are divided equally to the nine Bijuus? What do you mean QB? Are you kidding me? Yeah. Killer B talked excitedly in rap style. Talk normally B. The eight-tailed ox, the Hachibi are called as Jaiwuki, poked his host. Let me explain that one. The truth is that the division of the chakra from the Juubi is not proportionate. The Rakuto Senen actually intended to divide the Juubi's chakra into two beasts, only, that creates the QB and me, the Hachibi, with 60% of the Juubi's chakra, acquired by the QB and 40% by the Hachibi, with the QB acquiring most of the knowledge of the Rakuto Senen. And the reason why the QB's chakra is greater than mine is to protect the knowledge of the sage of the six paths within him. However, the Hachibi is still powerful on its own right for the humans to comprehend. So the Rakuto Senen further splits the Hachibi's chakra into half, making the Hachibi to get 20% of the power of the Juubi Yin Kurama continued. While the other 20% is divided into other seven tailed beasts proportionately this time. So that is the reason why when I accessed the full Bijuu mode for the first time against the Bijuus, I was easily able to dominate them with the help from Kurama's power. Naruto nodded. Since during that time, Yang Kurama already has at least 60% power of the Juubi. So if you will. Uh. Add my Kurama's and dad's Kurama's power, then it is 60% plus 60% of the Juubi's current 100%. Then. Kurama's combined power will be more than 100%, stronger than that of the Juubi. 120% to be exact, Naruto. Gara said towards his best friend who has trouble doing math. But what does this have to do with me, B and Hachibi? The Kazika Gare directed the question towards any of the Kurama. You may not yet notice it, but Abito's Jinchuriki powers have two sources. First is the Juubi sealed within him, the second is the Shinju that he has created as a Juubi Jinchuriki. Remember that the Juubi is originally the Shinju itself. Recreating the Shinju is the same as creating a duplicate Juubi. Naruto's Kurama explained. 
Now that we have already grabbed a hold of the other seven Bijuus chakra, we must pull those chakra out with everything that we got to remove Abito's control and power over the Shinju. And for us to be able to successfully pull out the other Bijuus chakra, we will need someone who is adept to Senjutsu, which is the weakness of the Juubi Jinchuriki, and also someone with piece of chakra of each of those Bijuus within him. The Bijuus and the Jinchurikus present in the situation turn towards Naruto, much to the Genin's surprise. He is the only one among them who has portions of each of the Bijuus chakra except the Achibi and the Hachibi, and also the only mastered the art of Senjutsu. Everyone then realized, except Naruto of course, that Naruto needs Hachibi and Achibi chakra, so he can pull out the two other Bijuus mentioned along with the other seven Biju chakras. After all, Gara and Killer B themselves are not capable of using Senjutsu like Naruto. So technically, the Kazikage and Killer B needs to give their Bijuus's entire chakra into Naruto, so my son can pull out the Achibi and Hachibi's chakra as well, along with the other Bijuus from Abito Minato concluded. This is aside from the two QPS who will about to combine their chakra to become the original QP once again. Can Naruto able to handle such level of power? It's all up to your son now, Yondai Mei. You believed on him even when he was an infant. Why doubt him now after everything that he has already done to protect yours and everyone's asses? The Yin QP replied. Minato replied with a nod. Now more than ever, he just realized how his son has grown from a very fragile little baby into a full-pledged shinobi that made the entire world, even the hatred-filled Bijuus, trust him. Gara understood what is needed to be done, same goes for Killer B. So I guess this will be a goodbye then, B. Jayuki said to his host. Yes. It's been fun, Hachibi, or should I say, Jayuki. B said with a rare serious tone, but still rapping. The Bijuu and the Jinchuurki gave their final fist bump gesture to each other. Just wait Dadabeo. Naruto shouted towards the Bijuus and the Jinchurikus in front of him. I can't understand what's going on or what will happen, but are you really going to let go of Hakan like that, Biachin? Don't fret about it, Naruto. B and I have already talked about this the moment that we have met you. Both of us realized and understood that you are a person who can make a difference in this world. And I believe that is also what my fellow Bijuus saw within you, that's why they entrust their chakra to you. And for the sake of protecting the world, I'll be more than happy to give all my power to save the future. This is what the Rakuto Senen has told us before he leave us wandering in this world after all. Jayuki explained while Killer B just nodded. Oh, Naruto, Dadabeo boy. Killer B said, trying to cheer up the blonde shinobi. Naruto, everyone is ready to do everything just to grab a hold of the future and keep moving forward. Gara said while tapping his friend's shoulders. That's why I am ready to give all my chakra to you to gain the tiny residual chakra from Shukaku that is left within me. Now, grab the future for the shinobi world. For every one of us Naruto. Naruto is dumbstruck. It is now, more than ever, that he realized how blessed he is for having such wonderful comrades and friends. Changing his expression from being surprised to a resolute one, Naruto looked towards his father. Dad, if Ichibi's power is extracted from Biachin, he will die, right? Don't worry, Naruto. When the Bijuu is extracted forcefully, that is when the Jinchuriki that hosts them died. Minato explained. However, if you just unseal the Bijuus properly within the Jinchuriki using a proper Fuinjutsu unsealing process, you can release the Bijuu without endangering the Jinchuriki's life. And let me also remind you that your mother, Kishina, is a former Jinchuriki who also came from the Uzumaki clan. It is a given that becoming a Fuinjutsu master is as easy as breathing from an Uzumaki like you, son. So Kishina knew all the possible seals that will be needed for sealing and unsealing the Bijuus. And she taught those seals to me as well. I see. Mom is also as amazing as you dad. Naruto said in awe. My next question as far as can I remember, you can only seal one Bijuu within a single Jinchuriki right? Since I already have Yang Kurama within me, how can you possibly seal the other Kurama and Hakan within me? Don't worry, we have already figured it out, Naruto. Hachibi replied. Remember that we Bijuus are chakra entities. We are called like that for a reason. That's why I will let both QBS absorb my entire chakra within them. That way, I will become a part of QB's chakra. Are you really okay with that? Naruto asked in a sad tone. Even if my entire chakra is absorbed, it doesn't mean that I will die. Jayuki replied in response to Naruto's question. I will just become a part of QB's, no, Kurama's power. I will continue to exist within him as part of his chakra. We were once the same entity after all. Naruto though sad, accepted the Hachibi's proposal. And we, on the other hand, are always one entity even if we have two separate bodies. Yin Kurama explained while looking towards his other half. The seal containing the other me within you will recognize the two of us as the same QB of the same entity. Ninpu. Kuchius no Jutsu. Ninja Art. Summoning Technique, Minato suddenly used a summoning technique. 
Then, several large scrolls appeared, floating within the space. Each scroll rivals the size of Jurea's toad scroll. He then drew out a storage scroll, and then resealed all those large scrolls within the storage scroll, and handed it to Naruto with a fatherly smile. I haven't done much for you until now, Naruto. But consider this as a gift from me and your mother for you. What are these scrolls, dad? Naruto wondered. They are the collections of Fuin Jutsu and special Jutsu of Yuzumaki clan from your mom along with my Jutsus, as well as the compilation of other uncompleted Jutsus I haven't been able to complete when I was alive. The scrolls are complete with formulas that you can learn and improve just like what you did to my Rasengan to your Rasen Shuriken. Minato explained. I know that this will not be enough to compensate for all the years that we are not by your side. After the war, regardless of the outcome, we revived Hokage's will return to the afterlife. We may not have the luxury of time that we need to do this once we have finished what we need to do here, so I am taking this opportunity to give those scrolls for you to make you become a more powerful shinobi, and also a great Hokage. Kishina will definitely be so proud of you, son. Thank you dad. Naruto said, tears running down his cheeks as he slid the storage scroll in one of his pockets. Let's do this, everyone. Minato then created another special seal on the ground, creating a large insignia that could fit every one of them, including the three Pijuas. Yang Kurama, Yin Kurama and Jayuki gathered around the seal, and then positioned themselves in a three-way fist bump. Then on the middle of the space of the Bijuus, Naruto sat in meditating position, but with arms stretched. On his right hand, he fist bumped with Gara, while on the left hand with Killer B. Minato is then creating multiple hand seals, creating formula for a new seal to meet all the conditions needed for the two QBs, infused with the entire Hachibi's chakra to be sealed within Naruto, while Killer B and Gara is sharing their entire chakra to the Genin, so he can get the residual chakra of the Hachibi and the remaining chakra of the Hachibi after the seal has been removed in Killer B. Slowly, the Hachibi's physical form started to disintegrate while being absorbed into the two QBs proportionately. Gara and Killer B then started to disappear on the mindscape after transferring their chakra towards Naruto. But the two QBs acquiring the entire chakra from the Hachibi evenly, they fist bump with each other, with both their hands to melded both their chakra and also meld their chakra towards Naruto. With one last hand seal, Minato looked towards Naruto, with his son now entering sage mode. We leave everything to you now, Naruto. Surpass all the other Hokage's and become the greatest hero of the shinobi world. Minato pets the head of his son, the same way that he did during their first meeting on Invasion of Pain. I believe in you, Naruto. Yeah. For the sake of those who have sacrificed far enough, for those who choose to continue fighting, and for those who wanted to protect their future, I'll do this dad. Thank you dadabeo. Naruto gave a wide confident grin, the same grin he has given before his mother disappeared within his mindscape after his battle with the QP to control the Biju's powers. Mindscape discussion end. Naruto, Minato, Gara and Killer B quickly recovered the information from the discussion earlier. Gara and Killer B then felt like their chakra has been depleted since they have provided their entire chakra to Naruto, making them lose their strength fall to the ground. Tsunade sama, Sakura, please assist the Kazikage and Killer B. Minato shouted towards the medic nins. He too is feeling that a huge amount of power left him. Tsunade and Sakura followed without hesitation to catch the falling former Jinchurikus. Fighting the urge of his Ido Tensei body to collapse, Minato took a glance towards Naruto, who is still within the QB's chakra avatar, equipped with Susanoo armor beside Sasuke. He saw that Naruto have his eyes shut, his entire body glowing along with his Bijuu Mo chakra cloak. Sasuke even covered his eyes due to the bright light that Naruto is currently emitting. It has begun. Minato said. The chakra stream of the Hachibi and the Achibi are cut off during the chakra tug of war, since Killer B and Gara are no longer available to pull out their chakra. However, with Naruto acquiring both the chakra from Hachibi and Achibi from them, he used the two remaining unused tails of Kurama's chakra avatar to grab the Hachibi and Achibi chakra streams and also started pulling those Bijuus's chakra out of Ibido's body. Minato, seeing that all the preparations are complete and with all the remaining reserves left to him by the Yin Kurama started to deplete, gave out one mighty yell. Everyone, pull back. Let Naruto handle this battle against Ibido. Minato said as his Ido Tensei form starts to fall out. Yin Kurama's chakra rope that is used by the alliance to pull out the Bijuus also started to disappear as well, as those chakra are also being absorbed towards Naruto's now glowing body. Even you, Sasuke-kun, get away from Naruto. He'll handle everything from now on. Without other choice, Sasuke, Kanoha-11, the Kages and the entire Shinobi alliance started to pull away from the chakra tug of war, much to Ibido's wonder. But what the Juubi Jinchuriki has been surprised for is that the force of the pull on chakra stream from Naruto's side doesn't weaken. In fact, the force of Naruto's pull actually started to get stronger and stronger within each passing second. 
Naruto, currently in sage mode, along with his full-tailed beast form chakra avatar, started to glow like an amazing light, as if it is evolving to something with far greater power. And this is definitely beyond Abito's calculations. Within Naruto's mindscape, Yin and Yang Kurama are still in fist bump position, with each of the tip of their nine tails, pointing at each other, creating a circular dome-like field that contains the two giant foxes. Between the two QBs, Naruto is sitting on a meditating position in sage mode, as the two QBs channels both their chakra into him, which are also powered with Hachibi's chakra and fractions of other Bijuus chakra, from Hachibi to Nanabi. With these newfound powers, the Yang Kurama spoke to Naruto. Mindscape Discussion. Naruto, with the two of us sealed within you, even if me and the other me here are not yet fused as a single entity, you can now access the full power of our combined chakra. You currently have access on the chakra of the full-powered original QB, which is technically stronger than Abito's Jubi. Along with the chakra increase, your own personal chakra has also increased exponentially, since your chakra pathways condense the current chakra release within your chakra circulatory system. This is because of another chakra entity that just entered within that seal of yours. The Yin Karama explained. Yeah. I can feel it. Naruto muttered, still with his eyes shut while meditating. Some great power is swelling deep within me, it feels like everything within me has leveled up. You're right brat. The Yang Kurama replied. As I can sense, your very own chakra level is now around the same level as that of Shadai Mei Hokage, who has been able to defeat Madara Che, even with me and my full power under his control. Since both me and the other me have already acquired the same chakra level as of the original QB respectively during that battle with Shadai Mei Hokage and Madara, and with you who has the same chakra level as that of the Shadai Mei that can even powered up by Senjutsu, we can definitely yank out the other Bijuus chakra successfully out of Abita right now. Wow. Does it mean that Shadai Mei really defeated you and Madara at the same time, even if you are on your complete form in the past? Naruto said in wonder and awe. If Shadai Mei can beat both you and Madara at the same time, and if I have the same chakra level as that of the Shadai Mei, then I can also beat both of you at the same time right now. Wrong. You are no longer near our level of power anymore. Yang Kurama replied. Why is that Databeo? Remember that the Hachibi's entire chakra is already within us, QPS proportionately. And the Yang Kurama has also shared the chakras of other Bijuus within you, as well to me equally in half. So I can actually say that me and the other me right now have the same chakra level as that of Abido's Yubi, since both me and the other me have all the nine chakras from other Bijuus and divided equally with each other. Yin Kurama answered. That's awesome. So you mean I have two Kuramas with the same level of power as that of the Abido's Yubi sealed within me? Naruto said excitedly, but still on his meditating position. Actually, two QBS with Abido's Yubi chakra level, and you as Arjun Churiki with Shadai Mei Hokage level chakra. Not to mention that me and the other me still haven't fused yet to become the original QB. Now, let's kick some serious ass. Yin Kurama roared, but still in fist bump position with the Yang Kurama, along with their intertwined nine tails. Mindscape discussion end. On the outside world, Naruto opened his eyes with his sage mode still active, thus displaying his toad eyes, along with the slitted pupils, due to the influence of the QB chakra. Feeling more powerful than ever, Naruto channeled additional chakra into his Kurama chakra avatar to give additional power and force on his current form for him pull out the nine Bijuus chakras within Abito's body. As he increased the chakra output of his full Bijuu sage mode, it lets out a huge destructive shockwave, creating a powerful gust of wind that blows anything in its path, including the shinobis within its radius. What? Is this power? Sasuke just thought while doing his best not to be blown away with the help of his Susanoo ribsage. This power clearly far surpassed that of my brother's chakra level. Can Naruto really handle this? Tabarama muttered. To think that Naruto kid could grow this powerful. Here is Insiratobi, the third Hokage, mentioned while struggling to hold his ground. Oh, Naruto. Stop Abito and end this war. Minato thought. Everyone. Naruto shouted. Kurama is still melding his chakra with his other half, along with the other Bijuu's chakra. So I will need to draw out Kurama's chakra that I have distributed within you guys, so I can pull out the Bijua successfully out of that Abido bastard. The Shinobi Alliance approved, so even though they are struggling to stand up on their own, they started doing several hand seals, as Naruto dictated through Ino Shintenshin Jutsu. Hi. Every Shinobi in the entire alliance shouted right at the same time to release the QB's chakra distributed by Naruto. The chakras released were quickly shot back towards Kurama's chakra avatar, further stabilizing the power of the pull from Abito's Bijuus chakras. On the other hand, Abito now realized that he is now the underdog on this chakra tug of war against Naruto, after feeling the knucklehead's growth in strength and chakra. 
he have gone through every simulations within his brain quickly, thinking on ways how to get out of the situation, and for the Biduous Chakra not to be yanked out of his body, but to no avail. Feeling the Biduous Chakra now starting to be ripped out of his body forcefully, Abito growls in pain. Iki Tabeo. Naruto yelled one powerful roar as he gave his all to pull out all the other Biju Chakras. In that instance, all of the Biduous Chakras within Abito are yanked out successfully through Kurama's Chakra Avatar's tails. Impossible. The power of the Sage of the Six Paths. Was defeated by a mere child. Abito said, with his face deteriorating from the sudden removal of the Biduous. He did it. That Naruto. Kiba said, grinning happily after seeing his comrade defeating the Jubi Jinchuriki. The rest of the Shinobi Alliance applauded as well after seeing their hero defeating the most powerful opponent that they have ever faced. That dope. He already is on a far different league of his own right now. Sasuke said with a smirk of defeat and respect. However, instead of pulling out the Biduous and becoming their own separate chakra entities, the Biduous chakras swirled and gathered around Kurama's chakra avatar, forming a large chakra sphere with Naruto on the middle. Slowly, the Biduous Chakra Sphere started to be absorbed directly within Naruto's seal, where the two QBs are sealed, much to Naruto's and the Alliance's surprise. That's impossible. Orochimaru said. Does the Biduous intend to seal themselves within that Naruto brat? I didn't create such seal that can contain multiple Biduous. That chakra will going be too much for Naruto. Minato said in surprise and fear on what might happen to his son. The Biduous Chakras surrounded Naruto, completely enveloping his already large-sized Biduous Sage mode into a globe of very thick dense chakra, as these chakras were being absorbed within Naruto's seal. In that instance, Naruto's Biduous Sage mode disintegrated, and all that remains on the scene is Naruto's seemingly unconscious body, glowing due to highly concentrated chakra surrounding him, while the chakras of the Nine Biduous continues to envelope him inside a gigantic chakra globe, much to the Alliance's worry. Mindscape Discussion Within Naruto's mindscape, Naruto quickly asked the two Kuramas who still have their two fists bump against each other while melding their chakra. What's happening to my body, Kurama? Naruto asked. We are currently equipping your body with Biju cells. The Yang Kurama replied uninterestedly. Biju cells. Naruto replied. Biju cells allows your own cells to acquire the properties as such of the Bijuus. These cells allows you to continue to grow stronger, depending on the training level that you will do, which will perfectly fit for you and your Kage Bunshins, since you are the type who learns from body experience. The Bijuu cells quickly adapts to changes and protects your original cells, giving you some level of invulnerability like that of Kazikage's armor of sand and Third Raikage's insane physical durability. And this Bijuu cells perfectly matches your Yuzumaki clan's potential to continue on growing physically stronger like that of your mother's and the god Imei Hokage's monster strength, since both of them are part of Yuzumaki clan. Yin Kurama explained. But the Bijuu cells thriving to grow stronger and stronger with unique ability and adaptability, along with Yuzumaki clan's potential to continuously increase their physical aspects like strength, speed and such, you have such unlimited potential to become much stronger. Bijuu cells works the same way as that of the gourmet cells from Toriko and Saiyan cells from Dragon Ball Z. Wow. But why would I need the Bijuu cells anyway? Unlike Abito who sealed the Juubi within himself with the Jito Mazu as a medium, you don't have a medium to contain the powerful chakras of all the Bijuus, even if they have entrusted all their power to you. However, with the Bijuu cells ability to adapt and the Yuzumaki clan's strong life force, your body itself is enough to become the very medium of the combined full-powered chakras of all the Bijuus. Yang Kurama snorted. I see. So all these chakras surrounding my body will be sealed within me? No. The Bijuu chakras surrounding you will be absorbed by the two of us. Yin Kurama replied while the Yang Kurama nods. Just like on how we absorb the Ichibi chakra from Gara, Hichibi chakra from B, and portions of chakra from other Bijuus that they have provided to you before they were sealed within the Mazu, we two Kuramas will absorb all these chakras proportionately. Sharing half of the chakras of each Bijuus as we meld our chakras. While we were absorbing the chakras on our own, our physical features will undergo some changes before trying to fuse with each other to become a single entity, like what we have used to as the original QB. Naruto nodded. He didn't quite get it, but all that he understood is that these two Kuramas will absorb all the Biduous chakras that were just yanked out of Abido, and he will become the vessel of these combined chakras. But now that Abido is defeated and the Biduous's chakras will be absorbed directly within us, all that is left is to seal Madara. I will not be so sure about that. Yang Kurama said with a glare. That Ichiha Madara always has a backup plan. I have so many experiences fighting him, and even if I can overpower him, those accursed eyes of his can always subjugate me. That's why we Bijuus have decided to seal all our chakra within you. As long as Ichiha Madara is on the battlefield, we cannot declare that we have come out of this war victorious. Is he really that powerful? 
that bastard Madara. Naruto is now shocked that even Kurama somewhat feared Madara. Yes. And I bet that Ichiha Abito brat whom you have defeated is just a tiny pawn for his plan. And even this infinite Tsukiyomi thing is just a fraud. All that Ichiha Madara wanted is power and supremacy over everything. That's why we will need all the power that we could get to defeat the Ichiha. Yin Kurama replied. Naruto felt a sweat forming and dripping down his forehead. Seeing the expression from these two Kuramas upon mentioning Madara's name made him realize that this war is far from over. Naruto, me and the other me will about to undergo a brief metamorphosis while we are melding our chakra with the other Bijuus chakra that we have released from the Jubi Jinchuriki. However, you can still use our now Jubi level chakra while we are undergoing metamorphosis. And expect a much powerful transformation and power up once our metamorphosis is done. Hold Madara with your current level of power. But if you can defeat him, then send him to oblivion. Yang Kurama said while the Yin Kurama nods. We will never forgive you if he defeated you. Yeah. Rest for now and do that metamor. More. Thing that you need Kurama. Naruto replied. Leave this to me. I'll kick Madara's ass Dadabeo. Mindscape discussion end. Naruto's attention returned on the physical world and felt a huge amount of power slowly flooding his body. His physical body is still currently floating in the middle of the gigantic but very thick chakra globe that composed of all the Bijuus chakra, complete from Ichibi to QB that just came out from Abido's body. Due to the large amount of chakra flooding his seal and his chakra circulatory system, Naruto cannot move. However, thanks to the effects of the Biju cells, his body is now starting to adapt quickly to these high volume of condensed chakra being absorbed within him, with the two QPS as a medium. Abido's weakened body is now lying near lifeless on the ground. He is watching the gigantic chakra orb with Naruto's glowing body, absorbing the entirety of the chakra yanked out of him. He can feel that this entire chakra that Naruto is currently trying to absorb is on an entirely different level than the power of the Juubi he has created. He believed that this is because Naruto has the complete power of the Bijuus, unlike the Juubi that he created, that only has a fraction of the Hachibis and the Kyubis chakra. While Libido is contemplating about this, he felt a hand that suddenly grabbed his head and lifted him using that single hand. With his weakened body that can even barely breathe, he no longer has enough power to resist a person who is grabbing him like a lifeless dog. However, he has a very good idea who is the person responsible for this. You have done a good job on recreating the Shinju, Abido. Madara said with an evil tone. Let. Go of. Me. Abido said. Not yet. You still have two things that I need. Madara replied. The Alliance is watching the entire scene on how Madara treated Abido like a useless dog. They then realize that something is not right. Tabarama, upon realizing it, shouted towards Madara. What did you do to my brother Madara? Where is he? Tabarama shouted with rage as he remembered that Hashirama and Madara are fighting on a different location during the chakra tug of war. Hashirama. Madara replied uninterestedly. Madara then throws the immovable and nearly deformed Ido Tensei body of Hashirama Senju, pierced with multiple Rinnegan chakra rods from head to toe. He cannot catch up with my Rinnegan. So this happened to him. 2. Barama. Everyone. Get. Away. From here. Hashirama forced himself to speak. Madara must be continuously draining the first Hokage's chakra using those black rods. Arachimaru stated. For whatever reason why he did that, it will definitely be more troublesome than any of the experiments I have conducted. Minato, with his Ido Tensei arm now regenerated after Abido's defeat, but no longer able to use the Nine Tails chakra mode, since the Yin QB is no longer sealed within him, glared towards Madara. What do you plan to do against Abido? You'll see. Madara said uninterestedly. He created another black chakra rod and pierced it at Abido's back, making Abido shout in pain. Madara then threw Abido's weakened body like a trash and then started performing hand seals. In that instance, Abido's body is quickly covered by Black Zetsu. With Black Zetsu controlling Abido's body, he performed one of the forbidden techniques of the Rinnegan. Jedo Rin Tensei no Jutsu Madara and Black Zetsu controlled Abido muttered at the same time. Everyone in the batfield watched as how Madara's Ido Tensei body starts to gain life force, as of that of a regular human being. Then out of nowhere, Kakashi appeared using Kamui in front of the Alliance. Madara is trying to resurrect himself. We must stop him before it is too late. Kakashi shouted in a hurried tone. Every shinobi who heard Kakashi's statement prepared to attack Madara before he revives himself completely. The entire alliance then started to dash towards Madara. No matter how strong Madara is, with the power of the entire alliance, the remaining Ido Kages and the current Kages on their side, they can still definitely defeat him. That is, if Madara is alone. In that instance, thousands of thousands of white Zetsus appeared from the ground, prepared to protect Madara from the incoming shinobi forces no matter what. 
This is the sole purpose why Madara created them, to serve as his immortal army for his plans. The Shinobi Alliance is surprised on how many Zetsus were left during the war that Madara can command on his whim. Now, the true Shinobi World War is about to begin. Madara said coldly. Don't falter. Tsunade shouted as the rest of the Gokage, minus Gara, who is still weakened after giving Naruto most of his chakra, is running closely behind her. Hages. Tabarama shouted. Let's leave the battle here for the Alliance. Let's face Madara with our full power. Hirazan, Minato, Tsunade, Anoki, A, and Mei all nodded and jumped out of the incoming clash of the armies. Kakashi, Sasuke, Hirachimaru, Team Taka, and Konoha Eleven then lead the entire Shinobi Alliance to fight with the Madara Zetsu army. On the other hand, Madara's Ido Tensei body started to be enveloped with chakra that diminished the cracks on his body that indicated the Ido Tensei summoning. His Rinnegan started to crumble since it is not the actual Rinnegan eyes after all. After a few seconds before the Kages reached Madara, Black Zetsu let go of the now nearly dying body of Abito and brutally removed the Rinnegan eye from Abito's left eye socket and gave it to Madara. Well, another white Zetsu appeared beside Madara to gave the other Rinnegan eye to its rightful owner. Madara quickly inserted the Rinnegan eyes on his now empty eye sockets, and the eyes quickly recognize their real owners and activates. The Kages are shocked on how Madara performs his surgeries using his own body. We are too late. His revival has been completed. Hirazan growled. But that simply means he already has a physical body that we can defeat. He is now vulnerable. Anoki said while thinking of using Jintan against Madara. He has already acquired both Rinnegan eyes. This will be a tough battle. Raikage said not particularly to anyone. The Kages landed in front of Madara while the Alliance is fighting the Zetsus in the background. Madara smickered evilly, his original Rinnegan eyes glowing purple. He kicked the weakened Hashirama's Ido Tensei body away, much to the anger of Taburama and Tsunade. He then removed his plate armor and upper body clothes to reveal Hashirama's face implanted on his chest. What surprises the Kages is that Hashirama's face from Madara's chest starts to gain the same Sinjutsu facial marks as that of the original Hashirama's. That was. Shadai Mei Sinjutsu. Minato said in a mix of surprise and anger. Yes. The most vaunted Sinjutsu chakra that I thought that I will have trouble handling. Madara looked towards the face on his chest in a bored expression. Aside from his already powerful chakra, he has now gained the Shadai Mei Hokage's full power, complete with Sinjutsu and even the Rinnegan. Mei said with slight fear. Madara then looked towards Naruto. He can sense that Naruto's very own chakra without tapping into his Bijuu's powers have already grown to at least Hashirama's chakra level. He then realized that because of the two QBS sealed within Naruto, allowed these two Bijuus to expand their host's chakra levels exponentially, just like on how a balloon increases its eyes by blowing additional air inside of it. With the two formerly single QB was split it in two entities, those two will regain their lost half over time. And it seems like each of the two QBS have already reached and even outgrown the power of the original QB, and each of them have almost reached the chakra level of that of the Juubi that Abito created. And much to his surprise, the full chakra of the Hachibi is already divided evenly and is already melded within the 2 QBS apostrophe chakra, along with fragments of chakra from other Bijus. And after yanking out the full Bijuus chakra out of Abito, the 2 QBS are using somewhat a special Fuinjutsu to absorb the full chakras of the other Bijuus within theirs and Naruto's own body, making the Bijuus's chakra revolve around Naruto like a gigantic globe of chakra, with Naruto on the middle, being the core of the chakra globe. The globe is now gradually getting smaller and smaller by the minute due to the absorption of chakra within the young blonde shinobi's body. Madara knew that once the two QBs with near Jubi's chakra level were able to successfully absorb the other Bijuus chakra, each of the two will gain power that far surpasses the Jubi's power. And with the two QBS are sealed within a single Jinchuriki, it will only take a matter of time before the two fuse together to become a single powerful entity that will become several times far stronger than the Jubi created by Abito, and it will definitely have power that will be far beyond than anything that he could possibly imagine. Thinking that this kind of power will emerge out of nowhere is definitely not a part of his plan. But he cannot help but smirk. Madara knew that even with his current state, complete with his full power as the strongest Ichiha ever lived, the full power of Hashirama as the strongest Senju ever lived. Along with the latter Sinjutsu that could further increase his current power several times over, and the all-powerful god's Irinigan, he cannot stand a chance against a Jinchuriki with at least Hashirama Senju's level chakra, who is also capable of entering sage mode. And can also use a power of a Bijuu that can easily be several times more powerful than the original Juubi after its metamorphosis. However, isn't it great to get that level of power and rip it out of Naruto, just like what he did to Hashirama Sinjutsu. Hages, you know very well that every one of you don't stand a chance against me right now. He then pointed out towards Naruto. 
Only that kid is capable on fighting me in equal grounds at this moment, so you better get out of my sight. We will not let you lay a hand on Naruto. Tsunade said angrily. Who says that? Madara said emotionlessly. I want to see that boy's full potential. I have no reason to stop him. After all, I need the two QBS within him to merge so I can yank it out of his body. If I yank them out now, the QB's powers will not evolve. So I will wait for now. He said with boredom on his face. Do you think you have any room to wait Raikage charged with his lightning armor and used his blinding speed to attack Madara. But Madara just uses his Susanoo ribsage to block the attack, immediately breaking the Raikage's fist in the moment of impact. Sinjutsu powered Susanoo. The best defense possible. Madara smirked. Hashirama's Sinjutsu chakra further increased the already impressive defensive capabilities of Susanoo multiple folds. This made the other Kages became wary of Madara's newfound powers. Tsunade quickly started patching up Raikage's fist. You know very well that once Naruto has been able to acquire the full power of those Bijuus and the two QBS fuse once again as a single entity, Naruto will become much powerful than you, regardless of your power right now. Minato said in a wary. What's the point of waiting for Naruto to reach the full potential of his power if he might be able to defeat you in the end? I thought after this long battle, you would realize what kind of person am I Madara said nonchalantly. He then slammed his hand to the ground. Ninpu. Kuchius no Jutsu. In that instance, the Jedu Mazu is forcefully ripped out of Ichiha Abito's dying body, immediately killing the Kamui user much to Minato's anger. The Jedu Mazu is now standing behind Madara. Every one of you already knows the tale of the Shinju, right? From the Shinju forms the Juubi. And the Sage of the Six Paths divided the Juubi into nine Bijuus. Abito have recreated the Juubi by using the full chakra of the seven Bijuus and a tiny fraction of the Hachibi and the Kyubi. So technically, Abito have created an imperfect, much weaker Juubi than the original Juubi, isn't it? What are you pointing out? Enoki replied. Well, I actually intend to recreate the Juubi using the full power of all the Bijuus, but Abito didn't follow the plan, thus leading to the creation of an incomplete Juubi. But I actually don't care about it. Madara looked towards the Shinju. I also could care less about the Moon of the Eyes plan. What I really want is to gather the requirement for the seed to recreate the Shinju. The seed? Mate Terumi asked. The seed to recreate the Shinju is the Juubi itself. Once you have gathered and nurtured the seed, the Shinju will grow beautifully along with its true power, regardless if the seed is completed or not. And that is what I always wanted, the recreation of the Tree of God. Madara said with a sinister grin. So you mean, that what you really are after? Is the Shinju. And not the power of the Juubi. Hiruzen inquired. Yes, old brat. This Shinju that Abito created has the full power of the original Juubi that was sealed within the Sage of the Six Paths. Just imagine what will happen if I acquire this power. Using the Jedu Mazu. You don't mean. Tabarama said in shock and fear evident on his voice. That's right. I don't intend to become the Juubi Jinchuriki. Absorbing the entire Shinju within the Jedu Mazu and sealing its power within me to acquire a much more powerful chakra that surpassed the Juubi is the true purpose of my plan. With that power, even Yuzumaki Naruto will never stand a chance against me. Madara said aloud. I will acquire the full power of the Shinju the absolute power to destroy reality. Madara then performed a set of hand seals, and then the Jedu Mazu released large chakra chains from its mouth and enveloped the Shinju from the very bud of its flower, down to its very root, then starts absorbing the tree to its mouth forcefully. We will not allow you to do that. Hashirama shouted, his Ito Tensei body is now regenerated. With that as a K, the Kage's attacks Madara simultaneously, only to be halted by the perfect Susanoo. Mokuten. Makujin no Jutsu. Hashirama instantly created a gigantic Mokuten in human form that he usually used to fight Madara's perfect Susanoo in a stalemate. However Madara used his Susanoo sword to slice the Makujin in half, and the compressed wind pressure created by the slice of perfect Susanoo slices through the battlefield, the mountain range, and even creates a deep trench up to the nearby ocean, much to Hashirama's and the other Kage's shock. You are now way below me, Hashirama. Remember, I also have your full power and Senjutsu. That alone is a stalemate for us. Now that my perfect Susanoo is powered by my Senjutsu, I have far surpassed you and even Abito during the short time that he is the Juubi's Yunchuriki. My power can possibly even rival that of the Sage of the Six Paths, even with the power of the Shinju is not within me, yet. Now the Kages felt despair and fear upon seeing the status and power of Madara. There is nothing more that they can do for now. Even as Kages that are known for their unrivaled power on their own respective villages, they seem to be like powerless children standing in front of a powerful god. The Shinobi Alliance could also feel great fear after seeing the towering perfect Susanoo with the Jedu Mazu behind it. Almost everyone is shivering in fear. Is there anything else that we can do? Sasuke muttered. 
He knew that even his Susanoo will be completely annihilated in a single instant with that level of destructive power. Looks like time to wrap things up. Madara said with his arms crossed on his chest while his perfect Susanoo is performing a hand seal that Hashirama knows very well. Too bad you won't be able to see my full power after I have sealed the Shinju within me. This. Is the end Hashirama muttered. Mokuten. Jukai Kauten. Madara announced the technique after the perfect Susanoo finished its hand seals. The earth shook and started to crumble. Then, gigantic Mokuten trunks appeared from the ground, very much like on how Madara used the Jutsu for the first time, but in a much grander scale, as the Jukai Kauten dwarfs even the perfect Susanoo, and each trunk rivaled that of the Shinjus, but can be manipulated by Madara, as if it is his own arms and limbs. So this is the power of the Sage of the Six Paths. Hirachimaru said, as if already accepting his end after seeing the godly scale of the Jutsu. It's all over now. Shinobus. Madara said in a cold glare. Not yet that Ibeo. A familiar verbal tick echoed throughout the alliance. It came from the very same voice that has always been their hope in this final stretch of the Shinobi World War. Then, they saw a very large technically gigantic swirling shuriken made from wind chakra, shattering the clouds in the sky. The now familiar jutsu is now echoing through everyone's ear, making the alliance cover their ears due to the painful loud sound that the jutsu emits. But as the jutsu descends, the wind emitted by the jutsu becomes much more powerful in every passing second, throwing the shinobus out of balance and blown away for several hundred meters. Everyone get away. Now. The blonde shinobi who is performing the jutsu shouted towards the alliance. Each shinobi from the alliance used Shunshin quickly, afraid of getting caught with the powerful jutsu, while the white zetsu army started to submerge to the ground. The size of the jutsu is gigantic after all, with the Rasengan orb alone in the middle of the shuriken chakra blade is about twice the size of Gamabunta, surpassing the largest variant that the knucklehead shinobi has ever created during the time when he and Sasuke has first used a collaboration jutsu to attack the Juubi. Take this. Senpu. Fuitin. Chao Kaidane Rasen Hurikan, Sage Art. Wind release. Ultra gigantic spiraling shuriken. Naruto, who is currently in sage mode, threw the newest but largest variant of his Rasen shuriken yet towards the growing Jukai Kauten. It carves path of destruction and blows the white Zetsus into smithereens, disintegrating them even without touching the actual spinning chakra. The path that the Rasen shuriken takes creates a deep, wide trench, while slicing through the gigantic Jukai Kauten of Madara, much to the Madara's surprise. The giant Rasen Shuriken's wind chakra blades continue to shatter the Jukai Kauten while charging rapidly towards Madara, who is currently within his perfect Susanoo. With his Sharingan powered Rinnegan, Madara knew that even his Senjutsu powered perfect Susanoo cannot stand a chance against the destructive power that can be produced by Naruto's incoming Jutsu, and Rinnegan Jutsus like Shinra Tensei and Rinbo Hingoku will also do no good against an attack of this level. Madara quickly leaped outside of his perfect Susanoo so he can use its defensive properties while getting away from the range of the Rasen Shuriken, just like on how Gara separated Madara from his Susanoo on during first encounter before he activates his Rinnegan. The Rasen Shuriken collided with the perfect Susanoo, triggering the Rasen Shuriken's explosion. It created a very large chakra dome compassed of wind chakra with billions of billions of tiny wind blades, each capable of molecular level of destruction. The chakra dome created a very strong gust of wind that blows everything away and also disintegrated the entire white zetsu army since they are caught up within the range. The shinobi alliance watched in awe while trying their best not to be blown away. This is Naruto's current power. Sasuke muttered. That explosion is much larger than a detonated biju udama and it is even enhanced with wind chakra. Kakashi said. And this is his current power while well just in sage mode. Sakura mustered. How come? It feels like his power just levels up exponentially. I don't know about the specifics, but it definitely has something to do with the power of the Bijuus that is now starting to resonate with Naruto's chakra. Minato explained. Naruto's chakra expanded greatly as the Bijuus chakra resonates within him, not to mention that he has two QBS with UB level of power within him that further expands Naruto's chakra as their container. And those QBs are yet to fuse to become the original QB that will further increase his chakra levels, even without tapping into Senjutsu or Bijuus's chakra. Even for this time, I can estimate that Naruto's chakra level even without entering sage mode is at Shadai Mei's chakra level at the very least. Minato said then look towards Hashirama. I agree. Hashirama stated without hesitation. The Senjutsu chakra potency increases depending on the chakra level of the wielder. A regular shinobi who is capable of using senjutsu increases their power several folds of their regular level, that even a genin or chuanin level shinobi can compete and even defeat a kage level shinobi. Now that Naruto has reached my chakra level at the very least, he can wield a much potent and more powerful senjutsu, capable of creating such level of jutsu. 
That's why he is our only hope right now to stop Madara. We will just definitely be on his way if we interfere on this level of battle. The Rasen Shuriken's chakra dome disintegrated, and it displayed a gigantic crater on the ground that could fit an entire mountain or two. Madara, who is still in mid-air and clad with Susanoo Ribsage, is quite amused on how much destructive power that Naruto kid could create, even without using his power as a Jinchuriki. However, his musings were interrupted after sensing an attack from above. It is Naruto creating another jutsu to attack Madara from above, with the help from Akage Bunshin. Senpu. Chao Damara Sengen. Naruto charged another gigantic Rasengan variant. He uses the Shadow Clone as a stepping plane in midair before it dispersed a dash towards Madara and attacked him with the giant Rasengan. Madara just smirked and casted one of his Rinnegan Jutsus. Futal. Shinra Tensei. Madara stretched his right hand forward to disperse Naruto's giant Rasengan like nothing, sending the blonde shinobi flying. After landing on the ground, Madara quickly pumped Chakra on his feet and shot himself towards Naruto's now propelling body. Naruto realized that and quickly used one of his signature jutsu. Inpu. Kage Bunshin no jutsu. In that instance, five Kage Bunshins appeared beside Naruto, the two of them assist the blonde in balancing himself in midair, while the three dash towards Madara, each with their own Rasengan in hand. That incompetent jutsu again. Madara said while creating a hand seal. Katen. Gauka Mikyaku. Madara hurls one of his most devastating fire release jutsu towards Naruto and his clones. The attack dispelled the three attacking Kage Bunshins. However, much to Madara's surprise, his Katen attack is being shattered by another jutsu from Naruto. Senpu. Idama Takyoku Rasengan. A more powerful Rasengan variant created by resonating and combining two Adama Rasengan that he have created, along with the two Kage Bunshins that assist him in balancing himself mid-air earlier, while the three Kage Bunshins distract Madara, the same Rasengan that Naruto and Minato used in the end of Naruto Shippuden Movie 4. The Lost Tower. Albeit using Adama Rasengan and not a regular one. Naruto is now covered by Senjutsu enhanced swirling chakra to protect him from Madara's flames, and then the two Kage Bunshins literally threw Naruto towards Madara, with his drill-shaped Rasengan protecting him from the Katen. Madara saw that his Katen is useless now due to the new jutsu that Naruto used, so he quickly stopped casting it and evade Naruto's incoming attack. Still clad with Susanoo Ribsage, he uses the Ribsage as his stepping ground to dash out of Naruto's range, since both of them are still fighting in midair. With this, Naruto's Takyoku Rasengan missed its target and just passed few meters away from Madara's current location, much to the blonde shinobi's surprise, leaving his back behind for Madara's counter-attack. Madara drew his Rinnegan Chakra Rod and aimed to pierce Naruto's back. The Chakra Rod was successfully able to pierce through Naruto's spinal column pressure point. As the blonde shinobi vomited blood due to the attack, Madara channeled his chakra in an attempt to disable Naruto's chakra circulatory system, just like what he did to Hashirama. But much to his surprise and amusement, he cannot sense that he actually hit the pressure points. Naruto gave a cocky smirk towards Madara, and then his body suddenly puffed away, surprising the most powerful Ichiha and the Shinobi Alliance watching the battle. Taking advantage of his unpredictable nature subconsciously, the original Naruto used Shunshin directly behind Madara, while the Ichiha is distracted within the tiniest split second possible. With another Rasengan variant in left hand, he launched his assault, attempting to hit Madara's back with all his might. Senpu. Tatsumaki Rasengan. Naruto created this Rasengan from the released Senjutsu Chakra, instead of the QB's Chakra, like what he has used against the Riaibi during the Sky Country War, Naruto Shippuden Movie 2. The Rasengan formed is now bluish-white, but with several streams of dark blue chakra spiraling around the sphere. This Rasengan can then be further compressed giving the sphere more piercing power. Madara quickly clad himself with Susanoo Ribsage to protect himself from the incoming attack. The Ribsage and the Rasengan clashed with each other and fought for dominance the Ribsage's iron-clad defense and Rasengan's piercing offense. The clash created large streams and bright sparks of chakra from two opposing shinobis. However, since the Susanoo Ribsage is equipped with Sinjutsu chakra and is being attacked by Sinjutsu-powered Rasengan variant, the Ribsage started to shatter and break, just like on how the Senpu. Rasengan managed to hurt a beta while being a Jubi Jinchuriki. But Madara have already anticipated it, so he prepared another Rinnegan Chakra Rod and aims to thrust it to Naruto's head directly. But Sinjutsu enhanced senses, Naruto dodged the incoming attack on the last second by tilting his head sideways. He then compressed his Senpu. Tatsumaki Rasengan in a much condensed chakra sphere for more piercing power and thrusted it forcefully to completely shatter the Susanoo Ribsage and directly towards Madara's chest with Hashirama's imprinted face. But Madara used another Rinnegan-specific jutsu, the Chakra Absorb Twin ability, which absorbed Naruto's Tatsumaki Rasengan as it disappears from Naruto's left palm. 
But what Madara didn't calculate is the other ability of Sinjutsu user. With his left hand no longer equipped with Tatsumaki Rasengan, Naruto quickly pulled his left arm out and aimed to punch Madara with his right hand. As usual, taking advantage of the Sharingan-powered Rinnegan, the Ichiha was able to track the attack, so he just tilted his head to dodge incoming punch on the side of his face as he prepares to use his knee to hit Naruto's solar plexus. But in that instance, Madara felt something strong hit his face on the very same side where he dodged Naruto's punch. Naruto grinned, take this Madara bastard. Kawazu Kumite. Naruto released more Senjutsu Chakra from his right arm, sending Madara flying down while spinning rapidly. The Rinnegan user was slammed to the ground, creating a large crater with him on the middle, vomiting some blood, feeling the pain of the attack. When using Kawazu Kumite, the natural energy used to create Senjutsu Chakra also encapsulates the Sage Mode user as an aura of natural energy. This aura can act as an extension of their body and cannot be seen by anyone other than those who have trained in Senjutsu. By utilizing the aura, the user can extend the range and force of their physical attacks. Naruto explained as he also landed to the ground the shinobi way. What hit you is the Senjutsu Chakra surrounding me since I am in Sage Mode. And since you are not actually trained in using Senjutsu and simply stole it from the Shadaime Hokage, I believe that you cannot use Senjutsu Chakra to this extent. Using multiple diversionary tactics, one after another, to surpass the Sharingan and Rinnegan's precognitive capabilities. To think that a mere child could hurt me like this while I already am in this form. You are quite amusing, Yuzumaki Naruto. Madara smirked. I thought that no one could fight me on equal grounds after gaining all these powers. Even Hashirama is now powerless against me right now. But here you are, just in sage mode, and still capable of delivering this much damage against me. I can have someone fight me whom I can pit my full powers with. Let's fight to the death. Yuzumaki Naruto. Madara gave a menacing grin towards the blonde genin. You're already dead that just comes back to life for a useless ambition. Naruto shouted back with contained rage. I will not allow you to mess around with our future. Ha. Hey. You know, I am actually quite disheartened because you haven't been able to maximize the true power of your bloodline as in Yuzumaki. Madara said. The full power of my bloodline. What are you blabbering about? So you really don't know? Well, it is natural since your clan has long been annihilated. That power within your bloodline is the very reason why the Yuzumaki clan has been wiped out in the first place. Madara told Naruto. The Yuzumaki clan is the only clan capable of battling an entire hidden village on their own due to this power, since the potentials of their power can even surpass that of the Senjus and the Achihas. I am just wondering what it could have been if you were properly trained as an Yuzumaki. I have no time for this. Naruto glared as he started tapping into the excess chakra from the two QBS within him, which are still under metamorphosis due to absorption of other Biju's full chakra. He then entered Kurama Chakra Mode, formerly known as QB Chakra Mode, while still in Sage Mode. This gave him a much more powerful boost that his chakra can be felt by the entire Shinobi Alliance. The pressure being emitted by this new level of Naruto's chakra even made the weaker Shinobi suffocates and or passes out with foam forming on their mouth. Oh, I forgot that you can combine your Senjutsu and Jinchuriki powers. This will be not good for me. Madara's cocky attitude turned into a serious glare. But let me tell you another thing. Aside from their mastery in Fuinjutsus, Yuzumakis have the potential to continuously increase their physical attributes through rigorous training. Yuzumakis can continue to increase their physical strength, speed, agility and reaction speed, and other physical attributes if the Yuzumaki trains religiously and their body adapt into the training. And besides, there is a reason why Yuzumakis needs to train and become physically more powerful than any other clans. This statement is just like what Kurama said to me while he is giving me the Biju cells. Since it came from Madara himself, I guess it will not hurt to believe that one. Naruto mused on his mind. What is the reason? Yuzumakis are not good at ninjutsus, since their poor chakra control roots from their clan's ability to continuously increase their physical attributes. As their physical attributes increases, so is their chakra, so they will have difficulty molding appropriate chakra to perform specific ninjutsus. But they have found a better way to maximize these handicaps, making the clan to become well known in the shinobi world. They have created a very unique power that is said to be capable of slaying dragons and gods. The Yuzumaki Ninjutsu. Yuzumaki Ninjutsu. You really are ignorant of your own clan's powers aren't you? That's a shame. Madara said while massaging his temple and shaking his head. Yuzumaki Ninjutsu is a special art by combining Tijutsu and Raw Chakra to create powerful ninjutsu-like attacks. These attacks are based from what they so-called Dragon God's attacks, capable of defeating almost any shinobi in a single blow if the user has proper expertise to it. Too bad, if you already have that kind of power in that state, I just can't imagine how powerful you really were if you have learned the Ninjutsu of the Yuzumakis. 
Naruto do understand what Madara is saying, but he cannot let what ifs to cloud his thinking right now. But he realized something. During the time earlier when his dad summoned some large scrolls. Many of them came from Uzumaki clan. And since Uzumaki clan is known for Fuinjutsu, he thought that those scrolls are for Fuinjutsu only. But realizing that those scrolls are too many for Fuinjutsu mastery, Naruto realized that those scrolls might have contained Uzumaki Nintajutsu that this Madara is saying. After realizing this, Naruto can no longer contain his excitement. He grinned towards Madara and then. Thank you for the information, Madara bastard. But I don't intend to look at what ifs anymore. All that I need to do is to defeat you and move towards the future Databeo. Maximizing the powers of his Kurama Chakra mode and while still in Sage mode, Naruto literally disappears from his current location, leaving a small crater on the ground where he currently stands, much to Madara's surprise, and reappeared right in front of him using a speed that surpasses that of a Horatian user, preparing for a head-on attack with his fist. The movement faster than my Sharingan-powered Rinnegan can track. Madara said in surprise as he cannot use his Susanoo ribsage to block the incoming attack. He just crosses his arms in front of his face to protect a head on damage from the powerful incoming punch. Naruto punched Madara even with the Ichiha's guard is up, but sends him skidding back hundreds of meters right after the punch's impact. Madara quickly recovered, blood dripping from his mouth, and then created Mokuten. Makujin no Jutsu and equipped it with Susanoo armor to increase his defensive capabilities. Madara also equipped the Susanoo clad Makujin with Mokuten. Makuryujin no Jutsu on its left hand and a Susanoo sword on the right hand. All these have Sinjutsu power-ups. Naruto cursed within himself. This Madara has so many Jutsus on his disposal. However, he can feel that his current Kurama Chakra mode with Sage mode is much more powerful even than his former Biju Sage mode. So he released gigantic chakra arms and started casting a Sinjutsu enhanced Biju Udama that he can now cast even if he is not on his full Biju mode. Senpu. Biju Udama. Naruto fired a Biju size Biju Udama towards Madara. The Achiha combined the chakra absorption prowess of his Rinnegan and the Makuryujin to stop the attack and absorbs the Biju Udama. This gave Naruto a working room for another barrage of attacks. Senpu. Rinzoku Biju Udama. Naruto blasted multiple Biju Udamas towards the first Biju Udama that he shot towards Madara. Since the Biju Udamas came from the same user, instead of exploding, the Biju Udamas melded with each other, increasing the power and size of the first Biju Udama that is being absorbed by Madara. Due to the continuous increase of power by the Biju Udama as Naruto continued to fire multiple ones to further increase its power, making Madara once again skidding backwards, with the feet of his Susanoo clad Makujin, starting to be pinned down to the ground. With one last cry, Naruto fired the largest Biju Udama from the barrage. And with the two large Biju Udamas combined, Madara's Makuryujin collapsed, making the gigantic Biju Udama detonate and explode, creating a large dome of chakra that covered several kilometers. Amazing. So this is the power of the new full-powered Kurama with their combined chakra. And these are only the excess of it, since they are still melding their chakra together with the other Biju chakras. Naruto muttered while looking on both of his hands. Madara, on the other hand, emerged like a bloody mess out of the crater. He looked like taking a bath with his own blood, glaring with full of anger and rage towards Naruto. He underestimated this boy too much. However, his glare becomes a neutral smirk after realizing that it has been completed. You should have finished me while you can earlier, little kid. Madara said. But it looks like you will not be able to make it. Let's take this battle to the next level. What are you talking about? Look at yourself. It's all over Databeo. Naruto pointed out. Really? Madara glared evilly. In that moment, the Alliance heard a very large thud behind Madara. It is the Jedu Mazu, as if preparing to offer assistance to his master. However, something is different. The Shinju. It has been already been absorbed by the Mazu. Hashirama shouted in fear. Madara got us too occupied on his battle with Naruto that we have forgotten about the Mazu. Naruto. Tabarama shouted. Don't make Madara become the Jinchuriki of the Shinju. He will definitely defeat you. Bam. I thought I already got him. Naruto gritted his teeth as he tapped further into the 2QBS apostrophe excess chakra, allowing him to enter humanoid Biju mode and combine it with his sage mode, thus making him access his Biju sage mode with chakra trench coat. The Biju sage mode this time is unlike any other as Naruto's chakra created made the surrounding atmosphere feel so thick that even that of Kage level shinobis have trouble breathing, while the lower tier shinobis are somewhat paralyzed due to sheer amounts of heavy air being filled with Naruto's chakra pressure. Is it just me, or Naruto's power right now has far surpassed that of Abido's? Hiruzen, the third Hokage said not particularly to anyone. It definitely is. Minato replied. 
with the combined chakra of the two QBS enough to surpass the power of the Juubi created by Abido, and now with the entire chakra of all the other Bijuus being absorbed by those two QBS, there is no doubt that Naruto might have even surpassed the power of the legendary Sage of the Six Paths right now. But. Madara's power. If he were able to get the power of the Shinju within him. Will definitely make this an entirely different ball game. Naruto, without hesitation, charged directly towards Madara in a much greater speed than his sage Kurama mode, leaving bright flashes of chakra on its path. While Madara on the other hand prepared to intercept Naruto with his Mokuten. Tajuu Makubunshin no Jutsu to create multiple wood clones equipped with perfect Susanoo. Naruto, after seeing Madara's clones, crossed his arms in front of his face with his hands in claw-like form and their palm facing forward. He applied enormous amount of concentrated chakra on his hands, then violently swung it towards the Makibunshins. It may look like a simple swipe, but due to the sheer amount of force and chakra included, it created a very powerful shockwave that created a humongous crater that levels the entire land, and the shockwaves even destroyed the nearest mountain range. The force of the attack sends all the Makibunshins flying, their perfect Susanoo are almost shattered into shards of chakra, while the original Madara is being protected by the Jedu Mazu. Madara have seen the power of this boy, so he didn't waste any time as he used hand seals, then leaped towards the Mazu's head. He slammed his palm to the Mazu's head, and using his natural ability along with his Rinnegan ability to absorb chakra, performed a seal that absorbs the Jedu Mazu, starting from its head down to his body through his right hand. The process is almost the same as that of what Abito did when he absorbed the Juubi and became the Juubi Jinchuriki, albeit Abito used Kamui, but Madara is performing a proper seal with his Rinnegan powers to become a proper Jinchuriki. Naruto saw this so he dashed towards Madara to stop him in every possible way before the Ichiha acquires the Shinju's powers. However, the remaining Makubunshins once again blocks his path as all of them once again materialize their perfect Susanoo. The Susanoo's attacks Naruto using multiple Yasaka Magatama. But Naruto will not allow Madara to do what he wanted, so he created multiple gigantic chakra arms, each has their own Senpu Adama Rasengan. Senpu. Adama Rasenrangan. The Rasengan variant Naruto used against White Zetsus during his first battle on the Fourth Shinobi War, but with larger spheres, the Jinchuriki stopped on his tracks, then extended the multiple chakra arms with Rasengans, and with the help of his Senjutsu sensing. Accurately targeted each Isaka Magatama for a head-on collision, creating another set of powerful explosions that further levels the battlefield. But the area now clouded with thick rubbles and smoke from the explosion, multiple Naruto Kage Bunshins in Bijuu Sage mode emerged, each with another gigantic Rasengan variant, as they aimed towards all the Maki Bunshins equipped with perfect Susanoo. Using their now near the speed of light movement, Naruto clones give a mighty yell as they smash their Rasengan to the head of the perfect Susanoo, where Madara's Maki Bunshin clones are located. Senpu. Fuitin. Chao Adamara and Katen Rasengan. Naruto unleashed a Chao Adamara Sengen surrounded with four smaller Adamara Sengen, each is infused with wind, Senjutsu and QB Chakra, to further amplify the destructive power of the Jutsu, the Rasengan variant Naruto, used to defeat Ido Tensei Tsuchika Game Yu, but larger and additional affinities. The attack immediately shatters the Makubunshin's perfect Susanoo's heads up to the upper part of the chest, immediately destroying Madara's Makubunshin's. Each of Naruto's clones dispersed, but much to his horror and surprise, he saw that Madara is now almost finished in absorbing the Jedu Mazu, which currently has the powers of the Shinju. Madara's physical attribute started to change, and now he has gained the same physical features as that of Abido's during the time the latter has the Juubi sealed within him, complete with Tengodu Dama floating behind him, long silver hair, and the Shikujo of Buddhist ring staff which is also created from Anmutin, on his right hand, Madara's physical appearance from chapter 663 onwards. But the most visible change in Madara's appearance is his eyes. His Rinnegan eyes have now evolved into that of the Juubis, now with red eyes, ripple-like pattern, and nine tomos. But the greatest change in Madara after absorbing the Shinju is none other than his chakra level. While Naruto has clearly surpassed Abido's power during the short time that he is the Juubi Jinchuriki, Madara's chakra rose off the charts as he acquired the full power of the Shinju, along with a new Dejutsu, and also increased the power of his Sinjutsu that he absorbed from Hashirama, since Shinju is an infinite mass of Sinjutsu chakra, just like the Juubi. But these newfound powers, Madara cockily glares towards Naruto. Do you think you can still beat me right now? This is my most perfect self that I can imagine that I could be. Madara said towards Naruto. I have already become a god that can bestow the proper judgment to all of you. This is the power that can far surpass the sage of the six paths. My ideal power. Shut up. I will definitely beat you. Naruto shouted, but doubt is now evident from his voice. This chakra level from Madara has far outmatched his current form, even with the combined chakra from the two QBS that are undergoing metamorphosis. 
Not that he is boasting or anything, he knew that he is the only one capable of fighting Madara among the alliance on equal footing, since even the Shaddai Mei Hokage, who is believed to be the strongest shinobi next to the Sage of the Six Paths, is now nowhere near his and Madara's level. But now that Madara had acquired the Shinju's power, he can't help but wonder why does Madara's chakra skyrocketed this much. So you're wondering why my chakra increases this much? Madara calmly asked Naruto as if reading the knucklehead shinobi's thinking, which surprised the blonde. Well, like I have said, the Juubi is just a seed to the Shinju's. Technically, it is just an offspring or an egg. If the egg hatches and grows into a full-grown eagle, they have that much difference in power. So even if your two QBS have surpassed the power of the Juubi, it is still nowhere near the power of the Shinju. We'll see about that. Naruto transformed into his full Bijuu Sage mode, creating a translucent Karama Chakra avatar with him on the fox's forehead. But there were also changes within this form, as the translucent giant fox now has much darker color than before, indicating the sensing between the yin and yang karama, and became two to three times much larger than its previous size, technically its original size, before Minato shrunk it by dividing the chakra into two. The giant fox avatar wagged its nine gigantic chakra tails mildly, but each of the tails created powerful gusts of wind that could further blow the alliance away. The level of chakra of Naruto's current form has made everyone from the Alliance feel nauseous, due to the very thick atmosphere that the chakra is creating. Madara smirked, then drew one of his Godu Dama, then blasted it towards the full Bijuu Sage mode Naruto. Naruto felt the power of the incoming attack, and as much as he wanted to dodge, the Alliance will be the one to suffer from this incoming attack. Naruto quickly charged a gigantic Bijuu Dama, easily two times the size of his current full Bijuu Sage mode size, to overwhelm the incoming Anyutan Chakra Sphere that only has the size of the regular Rasengan. The gigantic Bijuu Dama and the Gudu Dama Sphere collided, and much to Naruto's surprise, neutralized each other in a stalemate explosion, creating another massive Chakra Sphere that is easily several times much stronger than a nuclear explosion. Madara is amused that Naruto still isn't giving up on the fight, even in their current difference in power. He started to float Ayla Abido on his Yuubi Jinchuriki mode, as if a god surveying his very land, while the Godu Dama that he threw, rejoined the other nine spheres behind him. Naruto on the other hand, gritted his teeth after seeing what happened. That exchange just now simply proved that Madara's power is now far above his current state, even if he is using the full powers of the two Kurama within him. However, Naruto remembered that the two QPS are also undergoing metamorphosis by sensing their chakra with the other Biju's chakra. So he will never give up and continue fighting until both Karamas are ready to fight alongside with him. Naruto further tapped within his and the two Karamas chakra reserves to further increase his new full Bijuu Sage mode transformation's power. This made the giant Karama avatar's color change from its current dark orange color into dark red, very similar to the color of his four-tailed and six-tailed form under the QB's influence and decided to call it full Bijuu Sage mode V2. He then remembered how his father, Minato, created a Rasengan proportionate to his size in Bijuu mode casually, as if a regular person creating a normal Rasengan. Naruto concluded that the Bijuu mode chakra avatar can be treated as his own body, so he can create Jutsus proportionate to its size. Since he cannot mold Rasengan using one hand, Naruto used one of his Kurama chakra avatar's tails as a shell to create his own Rasengan on this form. This creates a regular sized Rasengan with proportionate size on his current form. But for regular Shinobus watching this, it is a gigantic orb of light that easily is near hundredfolds of the size of his Chao Damara Sengen. I did it. Naruto muttered with sense of achievement. Madar is amused as he observes the blonde Jinchuriki. This boy might look like a dumb, but he knows how to think if really wanted to. He might not have the talent, but he has the instincts and intuition that far surpass those who have maximized their natural talents. This boy really is the splitting image of Hashirama. Naruto then quickly leaped in a blinding speed, despite the current size of his full Bijuu Sage mode towards Madara, leaving a massive crater on the ground. Madara then drew out two Godu Dama, combined, and shape-shifted it to create a black chakra shield to parry Naruto's Rasengan. But even if the Rasengan is enhanced with Senjutsu and Kurama's chakra, the Gudu Dama chakra shield simply dispelled the Rasengan and sent Naruto flying down the ground with tremendous force. The impact on the ground creates a quick sudden earthquake, making the alliance stumble to the ground. Naruto-kun. Hinata shouted in worry towards her beloved. She is always watching Naruto the entire time during the Fourth Shinobi World War, and she knew very well that only Naruto can fight Madara on equal grounds, but each time Naruto takes a beating like this, she can't help but feel the same pain that Naruto is feeling. She said to herself that she will walk together with him after everything is over, but the term is over is quite too far yet for both of them. She wanted to do something for him, but in the end, Naruto still ended up to be the one to carry all of the burdens on his broad shoulders, not only hers, but also the entire shinobi world in tow. 
Hinata. Hiashi held her daughter's trembling shoulder. You have always believed on him right. Why doubt now? Otusama. Hinata said with tears on her eyes. This is one of the few rare times that her father showed a genuine fatherly concern towards her. And this is because of Naruto as well. It is so unfair. Naruto-kun. Has been robbed off his childhood even before he knew about the world. Carrying a heavy burden ever since birth on his own that is above his control. And yet, until now. Even after everyone has already accepted him. Is forced to carry a much heavier burden of saving our world. Facing everything on his own. Still alone by himself. It is so unfair. I want to do something for him. I don't want him to feel alone again. Hinata's tears started to overflow in front of her father. Hinata. Hiashi thought. Now I understand. Your feelings for that kid is no longer a mere childhood crush or affection. Hiashi then took a look towards Naruto, who is slowly getting up even with his body is filled with numerous wounds and injuries, and then clad himself once again in full Biju Sage mode V2. Once this is over, I leave my precious daughter in your very capable hands, if you will accept and return her feelings for you. That's why. Defeat Madara and come back to her, Yuzumaki Naruto. Ninpu. Taju Kage Bunshin Bunshin no Jutsu. With his newfound chakra prowess, Naruto can now spam Kage Bunshins like he normally used to, and all of them are in Biju Sage mode, but only the original can go to full Biju Sage mode and use the Kurama Chakra Avatar. The clones used several formations and then started to attack Madara at the same time as the original Naruto charged a wind-enhanced cone-shaped Biju Udama, the same Biju Udama that killed Shikaku Nara and Anoichi Yamanaka in the manga, but with wind affinity. However, Madara quickly dispatched the Naruto's clones with Shinra Tensei. With enough time, Naruto fired the conical-shaped wind-enhanced Biju Udama towards Madara, but the Ichiha simply caught and absorbed it through the power of the chakra absorption by the Rinnegan, then. Kain. Gaoka Misitsu. Madara released a very large fire release attack, using the very same amount of chakra that he has absorbed from Naruto's conical-shaped Biju Udama. The fire attack is so dense and large that it covered the entire sky. It is directed not towards Naruto, but to the Alliance watching the battle a few kilometers away from them. The Alliance stared in deep terror on the incoming genocidal attack, as everyone knows that even the Kages cannot stand a chance against the raging inferno coming towards them. Naruto used his full speed to dash in front of the Alliance to stop the attack. Focusing his chakra in a certain point, the blonde shinobi crossed his Kurama avatar's arms in front of his face and also concentrated large amounts of chakra on his Kurama avatar's fangs. On the last second before the fire attack landed, Naruto lets out a loud roar with his full Biju Sage mode V2, while violently swinging his crossed arms to his sides to create a massive shockwave created from highly condensed chakra that neutralizes the very large Katen attack, while also flattening the landscape a few kilometers, including the nearest mountain range within the battlefield. Naruto ignored the fatigue and then dashed once again towards Madara. The Alliance saw Naruto's resilience against fighting the most powerful Ichiha, and all that they can do is to believe on their protector, their only hope against the despair that holds a very powerful eye. Kanoha 11, along with Sasuke, wanted to help Naruto in the best possible way that they can. But seeing how the fight unfolds in front of them, they realize that they will simply just become a tiny dust that will be easily blown away by a single unintentional movement between these two godlike shinobis. Everyone. Ino Yamanaka spoke through the minds of her batchmates using her mind technique. We may not be able to assist Naruto on this fight, but our feelings can still reach him. Kanoha 11 nodded and Ino activated her clan's jutsu, channeling it towards her batchmates, including Naruto. Even while he is still fighting against Madara in a desperate struggle with the Achiha overpowering him with the newfound Shinju powers, Naruto continued to fight hard without any intention of giving up. Suddenly, Naruto felt something warm within him. After a single blink, he found himself in front of his Kanoha 11 batchmates within an infinite white space. Everyone Naruto spoke in surprise. Naruto. Sasuke spoke first. Itachi believes in you. He have entrusted you his ideals. So thus mine. So beat Madara down, dope. Naruto. I thought that I have been able to finally catch up with you and Sasuke. But look at you now. There is no way I can catch up with you. Sakura said with a smile. If only I can give you my chakra to help you in your battle, but given the situation, all that I can do is to believe in you. Sai said with a genuine smile. That him, Naruto. Became a Hokage before us. Shikamaru prompted. Oh, Naruto. I'll treat you in Yakiniku BBQ once this fight is over. Chaoji grinned. I don't if this might help, but I might even fall in love with you if you defeat Madara, Naruto. Ino said with a wink. Niji entrusted you the future. That's why I will also entrust you what I believe in. Tenten said with a smile. Niji is my rival. But since he have entrusted everything to you, you will now become my eternal rival, Naruto. 
Rock Lee gives a nice guy pose. Shut up Lee. Kiba barked. I am Naruto's rival. You can no longer defeat him Kiba. You know why. Because he has already far surpassed every one of us. Shino said in his usual stoic tone. Naruto-kun. Hinata said, her hands clasped in front of her chest. I know that you already knew my feelings for you. And I am happy about it. But my wish for you. Right now. Is to come back safe to us after defeating Madara. And I will do whatever I can to catch up with you for me to be able to hold your hand and walk with you side by side. Naruto stood there, surprised on how much everyone believed in him. Absorbing each of those words, Naruto's tears started to fall from his cheeks, and as he clumsily wiped them with his sleeves, he gave one confident rare smile that he have shown for the first time, that even made Sakura, Ino and Tenten blush. As for Hinata, she is now beat red. That smile gives Naruto a very dependable feel, and somehow makes him look very handsome. If only Naruto could smile like that all the time. Ino thought. Thank you everyone. Naruto said. I'll never give up. Watch me as I kick Madara's ass. The entire gang nods in response. Naruto has been fighting for their sake the entire time. Why doubt him now? Naruto blinked once again and found himself in the worst situation possible as Madara is now casting Senpu. Mokuten. Shinsu Senju, a Mokuten jutsu with thousands of hands that dwarfs even the mountains. Madara glared towards Naruto, and he cannot believe that the boy still has the will to fight. Even in this hopeless situation, the blonde knucklehead is still glaring at him with fierce eyes. This makes Madara snap as he unleashes the attack of the Shinsusenju, using its 10,000 hands, each fist capable of flattening a large mountain. Naruto felt the strength of the incoming attack. Even his current full Biju Sage Mode V2 cannot withstand this incoming barrage of attacks. But he needs to endure it. His friends, his world depends on him. That's why no matter what Jutsu Madara throws into him, he will endure it in counterattack, no matter how many times he needs to do so. Unless he defeats Madara, he will never see the realization of Iro Senen's, Nagato's, and his father's dream. The very dream that he has inherited from them. Don't take it Naruto. Hashirama shouted, since it is his own jutsu that Madara is using, he knew very well how powerful that incoming attack is. That attack is already powerful on its own. Now that Madara has the powers of my Senjutsu and the Shinju, that attack will be a lot more powerful, even if you are using the full power of the original QB in Senjutsu. Naruto already knows this, but he cannot falter. He knows that if he falls right now, the entire shinobi world will be doomed under Madara's rule. I will never give up. This is my shinobi way Databeo. Naruto shouted with all his might as he prepares himself for the incoming attack. We know. That's why we believe in you. Now, you can harness our new power. A very familiar sinister voice echoed through his mind. In that instance, Naruto is once again pulled within his mindscape. Mindscape discussion. Naruto blinked and saw two familiar giant foxes in front of him. However. Karama and the other Karama. What happened to the two of you? Naruto shouted hysterically, as if quickly forgetting his current predicament. Our metamorphosis is over. We have been able to successfully absorb all the other Bijuus chakra and divide them equally within the two of us. The young Karama explained. You can also feel it now right? Both me and the other me have far surpassed the Jubi's power due to exponential additional power provided by the Bijuus chakra. Since both of us are within you, you can now use our combined powers to fight Madara right now. The Yin Karama roared. Yeah, I can feel that, but... What happened to your size? Both of you became about three times bigger now. And you even got an additional tail. Wait a minute. Additional tail. It means. If you have nine tails, plus additional. Meaning you have ten tails right now. Naruto said while holding his breath. Don't state something so obvious, brat. Yang Karama replied. This is our original size before we were divided in two by your father. But to think that my size have already grown like this, even without the two of us fusing yet also caught me off guard. And also, since the two of us have absorbed the other Bijuus chakra equally, we will gain additional power that will surpass our current state, thus allowing us to gain additional tails. Basically, both of us can now be called as the ten-tailed fox. You mean? Each of you has the power that now surpasses that of the Jubi. Does it mean that two above Jubi level powered Karama are sealed within me? Naruto said in surprise. Yes, that's right kid. Yin Karama replied. With this power from both of us, you can now battle Madara with Shinju's power on equal footing. Thank you guys. Naruto replied with a grin. If not because of the two of you, I will never made it this far. Same goes for us. Yang Karama said. We Bijuus have become one again because of you. Now all that is left is for me and the other me to fuse with each other to become one single entity. With all the new powers that you guys have, both of you will still want to fuse. Of course. With us separated from each other, we cannot use our full powers. 
and we are originally a single entity to begin with. Also, seeing my other self beside me is somewhat creepy. The Yin Karama roared once again, while the Yang Karama grinned towards his other self. And besides, when the two of us fuse, it is not just we will be combining a both of our powers like a simple addition, just like on what happened when we absorbed the other Biduous chakras. It will be exponential growth, thus giving you more power than what we currently have. Another power up, is that what you mean? Yes. So go out now and show Madara who is the boss. You can access both of our chakra at the same time, so you can match the power of the Shinju, well the two of us will now start the process of our fusion. Looks like I will never see the two of you again as well. Yeah. But don't worry. Like your Kage Bunshin, the original me will receive the information and experiences that the two of us have experienced. That's great to know. Alright. Let's kick Madara's butt then. We're heading out Databeo. Mindscape discussion end. Naruto quickly awakened himself from his mindscape after a brief conversation with the two ten-tailed fox. Feeling a new wave of power and chakra surging within his body, the blonde shinobi clasped both his hand, then released his newfound power. His current Kurama chakra avatar is enveloped with very thick burning chakra that sends powerful shockwaves on the surroundings. Madara is surprised by another sudden increase in Naruto's power, but smiled evilly, thinking it is too late as the Shinsasenju's thousand hands started to pummel the now Jubi Kitsun Jinchuriki. Madara's attack shook the entire location, creating large fissures even from several hundreds of kilometers away from the battlefield. However, a sudden surge of chakra broke all the attacking arms of the Shinsasenju in an instant that greatly surprised the wicked Acha. A smoke from the impact cleared, and Madara saw Naruto within Kurama's avatar, still in full Biju Sage mode V2. But he quickly noticed the difference that shocks the hell out of him. The QB avatar's chakra skin is still comparable to that of Jinchuriki Transformation V2, complete with very thick seemingly burning red chakra, but very much more potent than earlier. But the most noticeable change is that its size is doubled once again from its already two to three times larger size, technically around five to six times larger during the first time that Naruto enters full Biju mode, and the additional tenth tail swinging along with the initial nine tails. Around the same size as that of Horse King's Heracles from Toriko. This is. Impossible. For you to reach the same power of the. Shinju Jinchuriki. Madara said in a mix of surprise and anger. I am the only one who should acquire that kind of power. Who says that? Naruto replied with a glare. The knucklehead is still within the forehead of his Kurama chakra avatar, but his chakra trench coat also imitates the power and density of the chakra emitted by his Kurama chakra avatar. Is this out of your calculations? Seeing something that you don't expect that can definitely take you down. Naruto said coldly. Shut up. Shinsei Tengai. Madara roars and creates a set of hand seals accompanied by his Susanoo to create one of his most powerful attacks. In that very instance, the sky is filled with darkness that once again frightened the entire alliance. Madara's meteors are now descending to the battlefield. Naruto simply looked towards the looming meteor. He already knew that there is another meteor behind it, since he already has an experience facing it, albeit as a Kage Bunshin. Naruto raised his Kurama Chakra avatar's right hand, accompanied with two of his ten tails, quickly creating a massive-sized Senpu. Rasen Shuriken proportionate to the avatar's current size. Though the size of the Rasen Shuriken is quite normal for Kurama Avatar's size, for ordinary human size, it is the largest Rasen Shuriken that Naruto has ever created, far larger than his Chao Kaiden Rasen Shuriken that he used earlier. Naruto threw the massive Rasen Shuriken towards the falling meteors. The two Jutsus collided, creating an enormous wind chakra sphere that illuminates the battlefield with a blinding light while disintegrating the meteors. The shockwave that the two colliding Jutsas created a very powerful blast that even creates a crater on the ground beneath the massive wind chakra sphere. Uzumaki Naruto. Madara rushed towards Naruto clad with perfect Susanoo, equipped with a large chakra shield created from five-shaped shifted Godu Dama on its left hand, and Susanoo sword empowered with the other five-shaped shifted Godu Dama for more powerful defense and striking power. Ichiha Madara. Naruto roared as he dashed towards Madara as well, both arms of his Kurama chakra avatar have Senpu. Fuitan Rasen Surikan proportionate to his current form size. Every step that the two gigantic chakra beings took created a massive earthquake within the battle vicinity. The moment that the two collided, a bright light enveloped that battlefield, and it created another massive explosion, created by the jutsu of the two godlike shinobis. Upon clearing the dusts from the explosion, the alliance saw the two fighting shinobi, exchanging blows with their tojutsu expertise, with Madara using his expertly honed Ichiha tojutsu and Naruto, using Kawazu tojutsu from the toads, with combination of his Kage bunshins. Madara is not using his Susanoo, while Naruto is also not using his Kurama avatar, but still in his Bijuu Sage Mode V2 cloak. 
The ground violently shook, nearby oceans raised tsunamis, and heavens were pierced as the two continues to clash with their arsenal of attacks. These two shinobis have already far surpassed the powers of the Juubi created by Abito, and could even compete with the Sage of the Six Paths, as they are now reshaping the very earth with each of their attacks. Being the Shinju Jinchuriki with Hashirama's full power and Senjutsu, Jigoku Rinnegan and his very own foul Ichiha Chakra and Dejutsus, Madara fights to his heart's content against Naruto. He never expected that someone is still capable of battling him on his current state, but somewhat amused to know that he can maximize the full capability of his current powers. However, Naruto was able to fight back against him with the power of his already above Hashirama level chakra, more potent and powerful sage mode, and the two above Jubi level 10 tailed fox's chakra that has the power of the combined Bijuus chakra. The alliance didn't attempt to run away from the battle as they continued to watch the showdown of power. Most of them believed that seeing how these two fights, there is no safe place in the world anymore unless the fight between the two is over. Madara created a barrage of giant burning meteors falling from the sky that would make anyone watching it feel like it is the end of the world, while Naruto will counterattack with his own barrage of conical-shaped Bijuudama that has far more destructive power than the one created by the Juubi on its second form, creating a stalemate through multiple, planet-shaking violent explosions. Madara then swung all the four arms of perfect Susanoo with their Susanoo sword to creating a massive pressurized wind slash that created large fissures on the earth and directed towards Naruto. The blonde Jinchuurki on the other hand, swiped his ten tails from his Kurama Chakra Avatar to also create a condensed pressurized wind slice to deflect the incoming attack, creating another powerful impact between the two attacks. In that very moment, something weird started to happen on the sky that temporarily halted Madara and Naruto's battle. The clouds started to form in a circular pattern, getting thicker and thicker every passing second, as if a powerful storm is being created. Multiple lightning started to strike the ground, and the hole in the middle of the circular pattern produced a powerful vacuum wind that is now absorbing anything within its range. The shattered mountains and giant boulders also levitated and crushed, as they were also being sucked within the vacuum hole in the sky. What's happening? Is this your doing Madara? Naruto shouted towards Madara. Since he now has very massive chakra reserves, Naruto don't have problem holding himself down to the ground, so he won't be sucked up within the vacuum hole. I will not use a suicidal jutsu if I already am in my perfect state. Madara replied nonchalantly, as he also don't have any idea how or does that vacuum hole were created. The alliance in the other hand has having trouble maintaining their balance as they are using their remaining chakra into their feet and hands, doing their best to hold the ground and not being sucked up in that ominous hole. It is the emperor ring. Kurama said towards Naruto. Naruto tried to enter his mindscape to ask more questions directly to the fox, but due to the reuniting process of the two Kuramas, he weren't able to do so. It is a powerful force of nature that already existed long before mankind came to be. To think that it would appear here. Means that you and Madara are already considered around the same level as that of the Eight Kings. Eight Kings? Naruto answered. It's a long story, but to sum it up, the Emperor Ring only appears if the opposing forces are being acknowledged by heaven and earth as powerful beings. And the only way to stop it is for either side of the opposing forces is ultimately defeated in battle. So I need to defeat Madara before this Emperor Ring consumes the entire alliance. Naruto replied in surprise. The goal of the battle is now drastically shifted from just defeating Madara into saving his comrades against the Emperor Ring. That's it. Now it is not just a matter of defeating Madara. You will need to defeat Madara before the Emperor Ring consumes the alliance, this place, or even this continent. This battle has now become a race against time. Kurama replied. Just continue to hold Madara back. We are almost finished in reuniting our chakra to become a single entity. Yeah. Naruto glared towards Madara. To think that the stakes will be a lot higher now than it is before, he cannot allow this fight to be dragged any longer. It seems we have created this accursed vacuum hole. Madara said towards Naruto. I'm using. Even heaven and earth acknowledged our powers. What do you say, Yuzumaki Naruto? Shut up. Naruto charged once again towards Madara, intending to finish the fight as soon as possible for another titanic clash. The alliance, even if they were having trouble holding the ground, continued to watch the battle. None among them, including the god of shinobi Hashirama Senju, have ever imagined that this fight will become a global scale. He is currently using his Mokuten. Jukai count and so shinobis from the alliance can hold the jutsu, so they won't be absorbed by the emperor ring. I always thought that Madara is an amazing guy despite that attitude, but your son is really incredible, fourth. Hashirama said while looking towards Minato. Minato nodded with pride. Of course. He is the child of prophecy after all, just like what Jureya sensei mentioned. Another clash between Yusaka Magatama and Adamura Sengen echoed throughout the battlefield. Madara once again used Mokuten. 
Ju Kai Kauten with Shinju's ability to absorb chakra in an attempt to restrain Naruto who is once again in full Biju Sage mode V2, but the Jinchuriki just swayed one of the ten tails of his Kurama chakra avatar to destroy the growing forest. Naruto once again charged a gigantic Sinjutsu enhanced Biju Udama that is twice the size of the Biju Udama that Minato have teleported away during his arrival in the war. He fired it towards Madara's direction, while the wicked Ichiha prepared his Tengo Dudama to create a giant shield created from Anyutan and Senjutsu Chakra. The Chakra Shield and the Biju Udama collided once again, and even though the Godu Dama Shield successfully blocked the Biju Udama, it is still shattered into pieces, since Naruto equipped the Biju Udama with Senjutsu as well. The blast sent Madara flying as he protected himself by using his perfect Susanoo's defense. Naruto took advantage of the now much faster movement speed of his full Biju Sage mode V2, as he used Shunshin to leap on top of Madara's Susanoo, with his Kurama Chakra avatar's right fist being pulled back and striked Madara with full force. Madara blocked it with one of his Susanoo limbs, then counter-attacked with a sword slice from another limbs of HS Susanoo. Naruto simple docked to dodge the attack, then intertwined his two of his avatar's tails and slammed it towards Madara's Susanoo, sending the perfect Susanoo skidding backwards. But Madara retaliated with another set of Yasaka Magatama towards Naruto that directly hit it Kurama's avatar and also sends Naruto skidding backward. It is still a stalemate after a series of exchange. Not good. Naruto glared towards Madara. I can't let this stalemate last any longer. I need to get the upper hand and kick his ass before it became too late for the aliens. He then switched his glare towards the still growing Emperor Ring. You don't need to give a damn thing for those weaklings. Madara said as if reading what Naruto is thinking. Let those shinobis perish with that vacuum hole, and while we continue to enjoy our fight, Yuzumaki Naruto. You're the only one who enjoys this Madara. I'm not like you. And I will never become like you. Naruto roared towards Madara, both his fists tightly clenched. Then what do you intend to do to defeat me? Madara gave a sinister grin. I gained this power to remove the shinobis out of existence. While you, on the other hand, gain that power to protect those shinobis against me. In the end, the power that you currently have gives way for a much greater destruction and further annihilation through the creation of that vacuum hole. In the end, we are just the same. Shut up. Naruto replied with rage. But Madara simply stated the fact that both of them created this worst case scenario. With the current turn of events, he cannot help but blame himself, since he still cannot defeat Madara, despite all the powers that he have. Don't give a damn about Madara's words. You are just fighting to protect what you believed in. The same familiar voice echoed through his mindscape once again. And that is the very reason why I am willing to stand and fight alongside with you. Mindscape discussion. In that instance, Naruto entered his mindscape. And what he saw greatly surprised him. There stood a very large fox that even the term gigantic is an understatement. The fox still has the same slitted eyes, thicker fur, and ten tails swinging from behind. But the power that is being emitted by the ten-tailed fox is surreal that on a ratio will make the Jiubi created by Abido became only on the same level as that of the lower tier Biduus when facing this new Jiubi fox. So you have successfully finished your fusion, huh? Naruto muttered. You are now the original Kurama. Indeed. Kurama replied with his usual sinister glare. I have acquired the experience and memories of my two other halves from their memories with you and the Yandai Mei. And I can say that the two of us could get along pretty well. Yuzumaki Naruto. I see. Naruto replied sadly. What happened to the two of them now? They are within me. Or technically, they are me, and I am them. So I am still Kurama, and treat me as how you always do the ten-tailed fox replied. Naruto grins towards Kurama. You are now several times larger than the Yang Kurama that is first sealed within me. And your power. I can feel that you are also exponentially stronger than the Juubi that was created by Abido. Of course I am. That Juubi doesn't even possess the full power of the original Juubi from the time of the Rakuto old man. Kurama retorted. Remember that only a part of Hachibi and my strong chakra is included in that Juubi. And my two other half have already acquired a greater power than that Juubi after equally distributing and absorbing the chakras from other Bijuus within them. And that two other me combined themselves to become this version of me or the original Kurama. Thus, my power is not just a mere combination of my two other half. It is an exponential addition, technically increases the supposed to be total amount of their combined power by several folds. Kurama explained. I don't get it. I am not good at math. Naruto smiled. But I am glad you are alright, Kurama. Good thing you were able to hold your ground against Madara. Kurama praises his Jinchurikus achievements. Now, with my new powers as the original me, you will also gain new level of power that you can use to defeat the Dichiha bastard you can feel it too right. Naruto quickly assessed his physical self, and sure though, his very own chakra reserves and physical attributes has grown exponentially once again. 
his already Hashirama level chakra reserves soars into new heights above anything than he could even fathom. He could also feel that his muscles contracts, though they are still their same lean appearance, he felt like his physical attributes like his strength, speed, stamina, and other physical capabilities, have grown exponentially as well. So these are the effects of having Biju cells. Naruto muttered in surprise. So you are now getting accustomed to the Biju cells. Kurama said with a smirk. Your base physical strength can now rival or even surpass the physical capabilities of your sage mode, or even that of the Tsunade old hag, or that Sakura girl. And as for your chakra, it has grown into the level as that of Ichiha Abito during the time when he is the Jubi Jinchuriki. That is the level of your own chakra, without tapping into your sage mode or Jinchuriki transformation power boost. Wow. Naruto said as he clenches his fists while looking at it. Isn't that a bit too overpowered? He said and wary. Frankly saying, you are now very overpowered. Kurama roared in an annoyed tone. But you need to become overpowered because you have something to do, you have comrades that you need to protect, and you need to see the end of the path that Yureya, Minato and you have been aiming for. Everything is on your shoulders now. And you need all the power that you can get to carry those things that you believed in for this fight. Yeah. Thank you. Kurama. Naruto shut his eyes to return to the outside world. Mindscape discussion end. Madara, on the other hand, felt something that for the first time since he his childhood days that greatly surprised him. Yuzumaki Naruto is already out of his calculations, but it is fine, since he has been able to test the limits of his perfect self. But now, he can feel another surge of power within the blonde, as the young shinobi's body glowed and being enveloped by a very thick chakra shroud. Yuzumaki Naruto is still gaining a new level of power once again, and this is already way out of his plans. This is something that he can no longer accept. It is impossible for this kid to become much stronger than him. His hand started to shake after sensing a large pool of chakra increase from the blonde Jinchuriki. This is impossible. Madara muttered, surprise indicated on his face. Where? How can he possibly acquire such level power? Naruto, still on his full Biju Sage Mode V2, started to be enveloped by very thick condensed chakra. Naruto stretched his right hand forward, and then a Shikujo a Buddhist ring staff created from Anyutan materialized, and Tengodu Dama also appeared behind him, just like what Madara and Abito have. His chakra trench coat also got longer with very visible changes in appearance, and his chakra shrouds got even darker than it already is during its V2 color. His Kurama chakra avatar also starts to disappear as it is being absorbed within Naruto to further increase the density of his chakra. Then a bright light envelopes the battlefield, which makes Madara and the Alliance forcefully covered their eyes. After a few seconds, the light resides and there stood Naruto on top of a tall rock. He is still clad with dark red Kurama's chakra V2, but much darker and denser chakra trench coat, and now with Shikujo on his right hand and Tengodu Dama behind him, imagine Madara's appearance after absorbing the Juubi during chapter 663. But Naruto is still clad with dark golden chakra colored trench coat, with Inchuriki mode V2 style color, and his hair is still blonde. He is still in sage mode, so he still has toad eyes and dark red outline on his eyes, which is now glaring towards Madara. This is your current strongest Jinchuriki transformation, the combination of Sinjutsu, my chakra and your very own chakra. This is Rakuto Senen mode. Kurama whispered through Naruto's mindscape. I got it. With our power, we will defeat Madara once and for all. Naruto swung his Shikujo staff lightly, creating one massive pressurized air slash that carved destruction towards the surprised Madara, who is still on his perfect Susanoo. Madara decided to counter it with his four Godu Dama enhanced Susanoo swords from each four limbs, creating four pressurized air slashes. The slashes collided, and much to Madara's surprise, Naruto's air slash neutralized Madara's attack and still haven't lost any of its momentum as it continues its trek towards the Achiha and his perfect Susanoo. Impossible. A single casual swing that is far more powerful than the combined attacks of my Susanoo limbs Madara leaped out of harm's way as the pressurized air slash cleaves perfect Susanoo clean in half vertically. But the slash still cleaved through the entire mountain range, slicing and flattening several mountains, even after slicing Susanoo. Madara followed the track of destruction created by Naruto's attack. It created a 40 meter wide trench with seemingly bottomless depth. To create such level of destruction simply indicated that Naruto have clearly surpassed Madara in every possible way. And this is just the tip of what he can actually do. The Alliance saw this and is now watching in surprise, amazement and fear. This is the newfound power of Uzumaki Naruto. He now wields a very potent power capable of reshaping the world on his own. Naruto is also gaping his own mouth after seeing how a casual swing of his Shikujo created such devastation. This is a bit too much. Because you haven't learned to control that power yet. Kurama explained. 
That's why end this war right now and after a plentiful rest, you will need to train so you can get used on that power under my guidance, or you might destroy the world that you want to protect on your own. Naruto gulped. The original Karama states that he will train him. And he already understood that this will not be your any ordinary training regime. Alright. Let's do this databeo. Naruto disappeared in a blur and reappeared right in front of Madara and attacked the wicked Achiha with a single punch. Madara quickly blocked it by crossing his arms in front of his face, but the punch proved to be too powerful as he is sent skidding several kilometers, with both of his arms broken from the impact of the punch. Madara winced in pain as he quickly used Hashirama's ability to regenerate. Naruto then grabs one of his Godu Dama and sharply threw it towards Madara's location. Madara equipped himself with Susanoo Ribsage and fired Yusaka Magatama towards the Chakra Sphere, but the attacks were simply deflected like nothing, exploding in random directions. Naruto's Godu Dama detonated before it reached Madara's location, creating a powerful explosion that shook the very earth. The explosion creates a very large Chakra Sphere that could rival even that of the conical-shaped Biju Dama's power created by Abido's Juubi. As the Chakra Dome subsided, the Godu Dama returned to Naruto, while Madara emerged out of the crater of the explosion, grotesquely injured during the attack. He lost his right arm, his left leg, and his entire body is bathed with his own blood, and skins are peeled and burned. If not because of the Shinju's power and Hashirama's Senjutsu, Madara would have been incinerated and disintegrated in that previous attack. Madara quickly activated his perfect Susanoo and using its limbs, leaped towards one of the dead Zetsu's body, cuts its right arm and left leg, and attached it to his own to replace the disintegrated ones, while using Hashirama's healing power to regenerate from his burns and other physical damage. But deep within himself, Madara is still in a state of surprise after seeing Naruto's growth right before his very eyes. Even if he has the power of the Shinju, Naruto continued to outmatch him and continues to grow stronger and stronger just to protect this accursed shinobi world. His musings are halted by another incoming attack from Naruto that forced Madara into defense once again. Madara used several jutsus to counter each Naruto's attack, but Naruto were able to counterattack with his unpredictable pattern and styles, with his newfound powers, sending Madara into a corner. At this very moment, Madara knew that it is all over for him. Naruto reshaped his Shikujo staff as an Onyuten sword equipped with Sinjutsu, Kuramas and his own chakra, and pierced it towards Madara's chest with his right hand. After successfully impaling Madara, Naruto used Rasengan from his left hand to send Madara skidding to the ground once again, while being enveloped by the chakra sphere created by the Rasengan. The damage created by the sword and the Rasengan didn't produce fatal wound to Madara, but the after-effect will become the decisive point of the battle. Naruto actually aimed for the same final attack that he and Sasuke used against Ibido, using the very same Senjutsu, Kurama, and his very own chakra to release the Bijuus from being sealed within the Mazu. But this time, the Shinju's chakra is channeled out of Madara's body while skidding away due to the Rasengan attack, the same method on how Naruto acquired the QB's power on the Falls of Truth, but that time, Naruto uses Rasen Shuriken, and he is being assisted by his mother Kashina. Garama and Naruto were able to successfully yank out the Shinju's chakra out of Madara's body. The Holy Tree's chakra is now created as an extremely gigantic chakra sphere of immeasurable power, floating a few hundred meters above the ground. Both of them could feel the power being emitted by the Shinju's chakra sphere, enough for both of them to realize that Madara didn't actually acquire the full powers of the Shinju. However. You did great kid. The ten-tailed fox roared. Thanks but. What should we do about this Shinju's chakra pouring out of Madara's body? Naruto asked the critical question towards Kurama. If we leave it like this, Madara will just reabsorb this. I already know that brat. Kurama replied. Remember how you channel out the entire Bijuus chakra out of Abido? you'll just need to do the same. But this time, my chakra will be the medium for you to pull out the entire chakra of the Shinju out of that Madara bastard. And then. What should we do to the Shinju's chakra after pulling it out of Madara? Isn't it obvious? Just like on what my two other half did earlier to the Bijuus chakra, I will also absorb the power of the Shinju within my own body. So literally, I will seal the Shinju's chakra within me, making me the Shinju's Yinchuriki. The Juubi fox shouted. Wait a minute. Do you think I can handle that much chakra? You can. You're in Yuzumaki and you also have the Bijuu cells that will be enough to handle the strain that the Shinju's chakra will give you while I absorb its chakra. And besides, if we didn't do anything about that chakra, what do you think will happen if that power falls into the wrong hands once again? Naruto's arguments died down. Shinobus always seek power, and these power leads to war, and the cycle of hatred will never end. If containing this power will be the final task that he needs to do as the child of prophecy, then he needs to accept this. Let's do this Kurama. Naruto said seriously as he stretched his right hand and enveloped it with his own and Kurama's chakra cloak. 
He molded the chakra as Kurama's head, and using the mouth of the chakra shroud, Naruto absorbed the Shinju's chakra and directed it towards his seal, while Kurama pulled the Shinju's chakra out of the seal and absorbed it within his body. So. Pain. Fall. Naruto said as he continues to absorb the Shinju's chakra. My. Body. Is. Going. Numb. Why does. It pain like hell. With the Shinju. But not with. The other Bijuus chakras. You are absorbing the Shinju's chakra without the Jedu Mazu after all. Kurama explained. And besides, you are in good terms with the Bijuus, and they even gave you a portion of their chakra when you battled them, remember? I know it pains a lot, but just endure it for now, Naruto. Kurama said while well, being enveloped by the Shinju's chakra within Naruto's mindscape and absorbing it as fast as possible. Madara landed on the ground with his back and quickly looked towards Naruto, who is groaning in pain while absorbing the Shinju's chakra. Absorbing the Shinju's chakra without the Jedu Mazu and Rinnegan is suicidal. Madara said, but he has almost reached the limit of his body. He became a Jinchuriki of the Shinju after all, and he already knew that extracting the Shinju within him will automatically lead to his death. But due to the Jedu Mazu and Hashirama's chakra within him, he was able to revitalize the stress of the Shinju's chakra, being forcefully ripped out of his body, but he is no longer on a perfect condition due to fatigue. Bra. Naruto kneels to the ground in pain, but he still continued to absorb the Shinju's chakra. His skin becomes burnt, blood starts to leak out of his body, and even his eyes starts to shed tears of blood. He returned to his normal base self, devoid of any traces of Jinchuriki transformation and Senjutsu. However, the Emperor Ring started to disappear after the stalemate between the two opposing shinobis has been broken. With that as a sign, the entire shinobi alliance started running towards their hero, with Konoha 11, Goka Gaze, and Ido Hoka Gaze on the lead. After a few minutes, the Shinju's chakra completely disappeared out of thin air, as the every last bit of its chakra has been absorbed by ten-tailed Kurama using Naruto as a medium. Naruto, on the other hand, loses any strength to remain standing as he let himself fall to the ground. The damage within his body is now being healed by Kurama in a much faster pace. But Naruto's body is still unable to move due to fatigue of fighting for two straight days and absorbing large amounts of chakra that is foreign for his chakra circulatory system. Naruto is quickly aided by Tsunade and Sakura, with Hinata watching behind them. Konoha 11 is right behind the medics, watching how Naruto is being treated by medics and worry to their batchmate. The Shinobi Alliance is also waiting in anticipation for what might happen for their hero. But one thing is for sure. The curtain of the fourth Shinobi World War has finally been drawn to a close. The Kage's on the other hand headed towards Madara, who is also still regenerating himself. He is standing weakly but still cannot be taken for granted as the Kage is prepared to finish what Naruto has started. However, before they could do anything, Madara released a very ominous chakra that threatened the alliance once again. For me to be defeated by a mere kid. Madara glared with his Rinnegan glowing. What are you planning to do Madara? It's all over. Stop this madness. Hashirama said towards his former friend. You don't know anything about me Hashirama. Because this is everything for me. And even if I fail, I will make sure that none among this blasted alliance can grasp that dream of peace that you always want to reach for. Madara said as he activated the Asura Pass power of his Rinnegan. Madara. Is building up chakra. Tabarama shouted after sensing what Madara is about to do. This surprised the entire alliance, and even Naruto who nowhere near halfway recovered on his injuries started to get up. He started walking towards Madara even if he is struggling to walk on his own. Naruto stumbled but caught by Hinata as she shifted Naruto's arms behind her neck. Thank you Hinata. Naruto smiled weakly. You know that I will do anything for you, Naruto-kun. Hinata returned the smile as the two continued to walk towards Madara's direction. Madara's body then started to gain red cracks as his chakra surges higher and higher while everyone wondered what Madara is up to. This is bad. Kurama shouted from Naruto's mindscape. What do you mean Kurama? Naruto replied. That Madara intends to blow this entire place and kill all the shinobi. Kurama roared that greatly surprised Naruto. Tell those shinobi retards to get away from here right now. Damn it. Naruto said. Everyone. Madara intends to do a suicidal jutsu and blow every one of us along with him. Get away from here as far and as fast as possible. The entire alliance including the Kages is in shock after hearing those words. Shinobis started to run away from their current location in fear of the worst case scenario. Well the Kages performed several jutsus to attack Madara but is easily fend off by the wicked Ichiha. Even on his weakened state, with Rinnegan, Mokuten, Senjutsu, Ichiha and Senju powers, the Kages still cannot land a decisive attack against him. They immediately understood that Naruto is the only one capable of fighting this Ichiha. 
and this also makes them realize that Naruto has far surpassed them with all their powers combined, since he was able to defeat this Uchiha equipped with Shinju's power on top of his already powerful status. Hinoha 11 reluctantly ran away, with exception of Sasuke, Sakura, Shikamaru and Hinata, with the Hayuga era still beside Naruto. You're going with us. Sasuke said as he started to create his Susanoo ribsage and skeletal limbs to grab and transport Naruto, along with his remaining batchmates away from the location. I can't. Naruto replied. If I don't stop Madara here, all of you will definitely get caught with his suicidal jutsu. And I am the only one capable of stopping him. He said as he let go of Hinata's shoulder and walked towards the battling Kages and Madara. Just look at you. You cannot even walk properly. It's alright now. You have done everything that you could. Sakura yelled towards Naruto with concern. Please don't overexert yourself, Naruto-kun. Hinata said as she is about to cry.